Let's go live. live. You're live. live. Hello, everybody. The computer's miles away from me. I'm short sighted, so let's see if I can say hello to you. First of all, hello, everybody, and welcome to Wednesday. And it is the backlog, or as Greg says, the backlog. Yeah, I, did, I, I have a funny way of saying it. I've noticed that in the, in the last, like, I've, I've done a couple of promos for it a couple of weeks ago and the week before. And I, I always call it the backlog. I always go like that. It's yeah, like, good. It's brilliant. I know, I know, but it's just the way I say it. That, that is it. I, I sometimes end sentences like this, you know, just to <laughs> emphasize things. And the backlog is the kind backlog. of how I say it. What can I say? It's like okay, and Lego. And <laughs> Lego. Uh, okay, so and Lego. And Lego. Hello to Lorraine Fox uh, O'Connor and hello to Greg. Uh, we've got some awesome people in the chat, Greg. We have uh, Mr. Blue. How's it going, dude? Um, he's saying hello to everybody. We've got Rex the Reviewer. We have Lester. We have um, Echo Bricks. Uh, Echo Bricks is... Um, Someone who has been helping us out. Anytime we put a story out there, re, re, do, retweeting, re, re Instagramming the story or whatever you yeah. say when you re Instagram stuff. So thank you for that. Um, Simon is here. Pat O'Connor is here. Um, I'm here for some reason. We have Fooling with Bricks. Howdy doody. How's it going? And uh, we have Lego Madness. Hi, Liam. We have Fubuki. We have a Ninja with the Bricks. Hiya. We have Gary's here. We have, um, do, 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 do. Who else is here? Okay, that's all we have at the moment. I think I refreshed the screen. So anyone else who's here, just say hello again. And um, so what I'll do, Greg, is I'll show everybody my ambition today. And I'll explain why I picked this set. So yeah, bef so it's this set here. It has nearly eight hundred, over eight hundred pieces. And I know people in the yeah people in the chat are freaking out, going what. What size going to build a set for eight with 800 pieces? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to concentrate on the buildings first. So there's some cool buildings. Maybe that giant building there and then the that sports shop. So they look cool. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll, I'll probably do some more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it on this one. I was basically waiting for you to put the box back in front of the screen again so I could make it bigger. <laughs> there you go. This is, this is how I do it. Yeah, I'll do it again then. I'll do it again. I'll make it go big. Here we go. So this is about four seconds behind you, Si. Here we go. I can do it now. Here we go. That's it. And that's oh. it. We got it. We got it. We got it in there. He's hiding behind the box, but you can't hide forever, Simon. At some point, <laughs> you've got to build it. Exactly, yeah. So if I talk to the channel, I might get away with building a lot of it anyway. <laughs> uh, who else? <laughs> <laughs> and we have Mama Lego is here. We have um Kuji Robot. I can never say that properly. Um, and we have everyone saying low teacher was brilliant. That'll be a great spike at the start. Uh, and we have Brick Stage Pass. I reckon so I will get the mini figure on the snowboard done by the end of the stream. Ha ha. We're probably right though. Um so end of A stream. It'll be the end of A stream, <laughs> won't it? Be in the, exactly some stream along the way, so we'll see what happens. So, Greg, tell us how are you, and do you want to fill people in on the cool um premiere you have today, which is still yeah. a video? So, go and watch it after this. Yeah, man, I had a really good uh premiere today. It was um, basically, I'm, I'm trying to get in, I'm, I'm trying to get into vlogging a little bit more. And this, so I've got this project on that we go at the moment, folks. It's a cabin, it really is. and you guys are seeing week one. I'm I'm actually getting to the end of week three in in real in in the real world because my birthday is on May ten. So the one that came out today was sort of day one to day five, and day one kicked off uh, from say May the tenth. So it's you're kind of getting them every sort of ten days or so. Um, uh, do watch how Sai opens these boxes up as well, folks, because he has how can I put it a technique. Uh, for doing well, it, look, these have tabs on them or flaps, so, wow. so that's okay. I, must, I don't know about you, Si, but I much prefer flaps. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, like that there, but I do anyway. Uh, but yeah, so so we had this, um, yeah, so I, I, I had the premiere, uh, quite a few people in at the moment. It was, it was really good fun, and it was just me going on for about 25 minutes talking about. Uh, get this this cabin constructed from the foundations up, and it was really cool. Um, a load of people that are in the stream now 
we're, we're actually watching it as well. It's doing pretty well at the moment too. So, you know, it's, 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 it's a good one, but what it is, it's, it's kind of, I'd say it was like, it was like two, one stone, two bird scenario, because I'm having to do a lot of stuff in and around all this folks. The builders are doing the building. Don't get me wrong. And I'm helping out here and there, but it's like 2% or something like that. Uh, but the, but the thing is, um, it's all the stuff that goes in and around it and vlogging it every day. I'm out there every night for like 40 minutes vlogging about what people are seeing and stuff like that. So, for example, if I'm a, if I'm actually in the office, which I think for a couple of those days I was, then I can only vlog about what I see when I come home and, when, you know, what I see. And then I just sort of say what I see, that sort of thing. But yeah, it's uh, it's going really well. I hope everyone enjoyed it. He's got a great shirt, hasn't he, folks? It's, it's the uh, dog dangly, is that? Um, and yeah, so yeah, if, if you want to see uh, week one of me uh, helping construct the cabin, or I say helping, I'm probably getting in the way more than anything, uh, then yeah, check it out. But we, I was doing some other things today. So today, right, the cladding was going on. Uh, and what oh. they, were doing, they were carrying the cladding from the front round to the back. So I said to him, I said, hold on a minute. I said, I'm going to film you taking it round there, which I did once. And then what I did was I've got this kind of little GoPro. It looks like a GoPro, but it's, a, it's just a cheap version of it. And I stuck it to the front of one of the panels. So then you get an idea of what it looks like to be going down my garden on the front of a wooden panel. Do you know what I mean? So it's I'm trying different things out, folks. And what it is, though, Sky, the nice thing about it is, one, the cabin is purely for Lego. It really is. Uh, yeah. And secondly, the the cool thing is I get to mess around with um, vlogging. You know, I've got something to properly vlog, and that's what I'm doing. So that's why most of my content at the moment, folks, is live streams or it's vlogs, uh, which is pretty cool. Now, I've just – I spy my little eye, uh, Roadrunner, in the chat. I missed yeah. you. I said, where are you being? Uh, uh, this is I where you want to. This is where you want to be able to play music on YouTube. So I'd, I'd stick on Mark Morrison, "Return of the Mac." Return of the Mac. Uh, copyright. <laughs> I <can> do that. <laughs> uh, so hey, Rogue, welcome back. Nice to see you, dude. Um, and yeah, it's good to see you. And stay around and have a bit of fun and laugh at us trying to build stuff. Well, Greg is still on the same one from last week, so don't. Oh ask. yeah, I'm not I'm doing it. Yet. I, I don't even know where I got to. I think I'm on point ninety. Anyway, it's not a race. Um, Samaritan. <laughs> yeah, Joe's here. Hi, Brixish. How's it going? Good to see you. A lot of good people in this chat today. Um, a lot of our awesome people and friends. Um, and a wife as well. Oh, sorry. Um, oh, actually, yes. Yeah, sorry, Mr. Blue M. I have enough mods at the moment, so I don't actually need any. But if I do recruit any more moderators, you're definitely top of the list. Okay, man. So, um, thanks for um, thanks for asking. I do want to show the way the instructions come. So that's the instructions. Um, the, there's a lot of stickers, but those stickers are pretty cool. Which way is up? So the stickers are pretty cool. So like there's TV screen, there's um, loads of different bits and pieces for the res rescue vehicles. And I think that's you know, some stuff for the... Yeah, there. Yeah, so for the there's a down. Is it a slalom or is it like a, just a downhill track? So that's oh, there. It's the, it's the track. Yeah, it's the it's the it's the track. So people don't go off piste, so to speak. Oh, piste. Stay on the piste. And then look at the way the, the instructions are. They're like three different little books, but they're quite neat. And you know, on they're not bent or anything. So you've got one. Oh God, two, three, four, five, six of them. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> So you're going to be building that for a while, really, Sai, si, aren't you? Well, I'm going to do this one first. Is it just this is the house, the, oh, the main oh. part? I'm going to build that. Excellent. And I'm going to stick them onto a white base plate at some stage as well and make it look all snowy. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, good stuff. I'm liking that. Yeah, they, they, they're sort of set. Was it? Did you get it recently or did you get it over Christmas? Because that's when those ones are sort of out there. No, I wanted it ages ago. I came out in, it came out in 2019, um, and I knew one of the shops still had it. And so I said, instead, like, because Doc was like, oh, it's always new sets. So this is an older <laughs> set, but it joined my backlog today. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Anything that we haven't built is technically on the backlog, folks. It really is. Uh, exactly. So it's nice to have it in there and uh, endeavouring to do it. So do you get any, uh, I'm going to start kicking off. I'm on bag... 1.5 at the moment, folks. Let's see if I can find where I got to last week when I was building. Um, 
I was going down in Lego News this week, so si. there's uh, there's the, the bugle. Is that is that come out today? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, um, that looks pretty good. I'll just say hello to Slippery Bricks. Um, uh, Ninja with the Bricks, can't wait to see your cabin finished. Um, Victoria Fisher's here. Hey, Victoria. And Tim is here. Oh, where'd he go to? He's gone all the way up here. Uh, Tim, you're there. Um, such of getting the Great Hall for 60 quid today. That's really good. That's good, isn't it? Oh, that is. That's good. Um, oh, Kevin's here. Hey, Kevin. I'm Bored Toys. Hey. Um, we have tech is in the house hey tech and i saw someone else there popping in uh you've just oh, jumped all someone knew that, eh? lego danny bob I yeah like hey lego danny bob and yeah so basically yeah the bugle's out today but something i saw um i don't know if i want it i a lot of the art stuff interests me but i'm not, not enough to buy and um, there was the world map did you see the, the world map yeah i don't know what to make of that in all honesty, it'll be yeah. uh, it'll be a really good one to get, especially for the cabin. But is it me? Is it, is it, I always thought the Antarctic was white, and it looks to me like all the countries are white. And I'm like, well, you know, they could have like UK could have been green and Ireland green, and maybe more, you know, areas that are kind of more desert kind of thing, and you yeah. know, maybe do them in beige. I don't, know, I don't know if the colours properly represent the countries. Well, it's just white anyway. It's like a, it's like a, it's like Hoth, uh, but made in Lego. What, what do you think of it, Sai? When he says beige, he means tan. So just oh yeah, sorry. I always say that, uh, and I always stand corrected. I got, I got a thing about about beige. Really, I think it is. I've got a tan at the moment. I could do with one though. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I uh, I'm not into the map. I won't, I won't be getting it. Definitely won't be getting it. Even if I had a place on the wall to put it, I think there are other kind yeah. of things to put on the wall. Um, solo. Hey, how's it going? Solo brick builders here. Um, but no, I um, don't think I'll be getting that at all. Um, uh, like with anybody says, don't really like the world map, but more importantly, I don't have enough wall space to display. That's the other thing as well. You know, for the, for me, if I was getting something for the wall, I would be getting yeah. the, the mega mega Vader, like all the Darth Vader things, or um, the yeah. Batwing. Yeah, I, I'm I'm the same actually. The, 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 I think the map is a really good idea. Hey, Shai. Uh, but it, it's just a case of there. Yeah, it's not really for me. Yeah. I. I I don't know. Well, let's know what you lot out there in the chat think about it as well. I kind of like it, but I mean, 10, what is it, just under 10,000 pieces or is it 11,000? I can't remember. 11,600? Uh, I was so uninterested in it. All I know is apparently it's now the biggest set. Yeah. So I didn't even look into it. I was like, uh, yawn. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I'd rather build a, a Star Destroyer, a big wedge uh, for space, I think um but yeah globe yeah i'd like to globe i that was the, that was one of the things that was kind of bantered about earlier on this year wasn't it the globe yeah i thought there's there still is a globe coming isn't there yeah i get that because it's yeah. you know it'd be something to sort of face off against the death star yeah um yeah a lot of people don't like the um the map from what i can see uh Okay, well, Tech says, with your sense direction, Greg, you'll need more than a Lego map. <laughs> <laughs> He's a, I, I got, I've got to be honest, right? Tech was in the chat earlier on, on my premiere, uh, and he, he referenced my sunglasses, saying that uh, Elton John apparently had called him and said, can he have his sunglasses back? I thought that was quite funny. That was a good one. I like that. Tech, those, those sunglasses I've had for 20 years, they are the Oakley specials, and uh, I love them to bits. Um so they're vintage. Well, they're probably older than he is, in all honesty. <laughs> vintage. Okay, vintage. so we'll go skip to bag seven and eight. He's, he's skipping away. Look at him. He gives it a little squeeze, and then he pops back to life again. That is the mic I'm talking about as well, by the way, folks. Oh, right. <laughs> oh blimey. Shy Time's got a new uh, avatar. I didn't hardly recognize him there. Hey, shy. Um, oh, yeah, Tech. Uh, tech, what I was going to say to you is uh, I remember you telling me the cladding uh, creates a lot of dust. Uh, the builders I've got in, uh, they they use a guillotine on it because it's actually, in a funny way, when you start cutting through the, the kind of outer surface, the kind of 
uh, the cladding section of it, I suppose, and get into the, the juts because it's actually quite soft. So, yeah, guillotine. Check out the guillotine, mate. Save on all that dust. It really does. Anyway, where am I at with this building? I'm just uh, muting while I rummage through bags. No, that's all right. You rummage away, mate. Like seven and eight. Oh, yeah. Um, Joel is here. Uh, salutations, Lego peeps. Have uh, you? Hope you're having a great day. We, I am. Yeah, so far. Anyway, I think Nullig is trying to burst into the room. <laughs> Did you get him a new shirt as well? Um, not a new shirt. He got something new. Come over and show Greg, uh, Greg and everybody. It is. It is not T-shirt. It is a jamis. Yep. Jamis shorts and jamis. The pajamas. Yeah, pajamas. I'm liking it. That is, that is a bright t shirt for <laughs> Blimey. You'd have to turn, make sure the light's out when you go to bed. Yeah. So look. Yeah. Go this way. Spider Man. Spider Man. Also, Greg, what? This Spider Man. And um, what? Greg. Also, what? He. Also, what? Greg. And um, him. I can glow, glow the dark. This glows in dark? Yeah. No way, really? Yes. Yeah. Does it? Does it? Does it? Yeah, I can see I can see it's kind of outlined in white. That looks good. Yes. That's yeah, so cool. Also, what I don't knew. Oh, he has shorts, shorts as well. He has shorts as well. Yeah. Blimey. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay pajamas. I mean, you could, can't you just go out, like, go to school wearing that or something? Yeah, so here. Yeah, you could wear that top yeah. as, a, as a T-shirt to school and they're like... Yeah. Well, don't wear it the same day you wear it. Yeah, well, take us. Just uh, go to bed and eat, roll out of bed and go and do some carpentry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. With your backwards cap. Hey, FLX. Uh, I think it's a great... Uh, I think it. Uh, I think it's great the new Lego uh, map is the same scale as Greg's iPad. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I'm going to have to get tech into my uh, into my marketing. I could, I could make him business development manager uh, for my marketing. Or something like that. Tech, would you be interested in that? Uh, every, everything he says about me seems to stick, which I quite like. <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> uh, say hi to Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Kevin says hi. Uh, hi, Nolig. Tech says hi, Nolig. Backstage, uh, bricks. I keep saying back. Brickstage Pass <laughs> says hi, Nolig. Um, and Lego Madness. And Simon says hi, Nolig. Um, and <laughs> Super Bricks says really liking the PJs. Hey, Isn't that cool? Yes. Um, and Brickstage Pass says, how's your cheek? Is your Dad. face? No, it's better. Your face is much better. It's not. It is. It's not. And I saw um, Brixish is saying hi. Joel is saying hi, Nulig. Uh, the spidey pajamas are rad. Uh, Mr. Blue says hi. Uh, Lester says hi. Um, and I see Brixine. Hey, Richard. Say hi, Richard. Oh, hey, oh, hey, mate. Um, and anyone else? Okay, that's it. Uh, so say goodbye, everybody. Bye. Say bye, Greg. Bye, Greg. Bye, Nolak. Bye. See you later. He's not on my lap because the the the, uh, the computer's further away today, so he can stand there. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> nut bag. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, you're a nut bag. No, no, like, don't shout any abuse on the way out. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, baby. Bye. So that was Nulig. Oh, he looks really well. I love his t-shirt. Yeah, oh, it's man. awesome. Lorraine got that from today. Did he? Or did she? Or rather, I should say, <laughs> did she for him? Yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, reckon, I reckon we should go to Primark on the fifth of June to see if we can get some uh, like funky t-shirts or something. Honestly, they've really good T-shirts in those in there. Like there, there, loads of um comic ones, as in Marvel and DC. And I got a really cool Superman one, but when I brought it home, it was like I'd spray painted it onto my body. So I have to bring that back tomorrow and get it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's while you were bringing it back. Well, no, this one is a medium, and the other one is a medium. But the other one is like it's it's like a child's T-shirt. It's so 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 slim and hugging. But um, so I have to get a. 
medium, a large. I might have to get an extra large in that, which is really no, weird. Sai. Not yeah, an but, extra large. I know, but it's like a, it's just like a skin tight catsuit. Have, have you been at those pies? Oh yeah. <laughs> they, op they opened a Greg's here, and I shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I got more rolls than Greg's. That's for sure. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> But now I put it on and I could feel like layers of, I call it COVID flab on on the back <laughs> where my kidneys are. I was like, Jesus, that was never there before. So now it's like, <laughs> did you look like a sausage that had been squeezed hard? Yeah. <laughs> oh God. No one likes a sausage squeezed hard, so you know that. And that right. <laughs> <laughs> what, did I, what, what did I say? Uh, uh, Brick says, well, that means something very different out here in the West. What did I say, I wonder? Uh, that, that, that I something very different out here in the West side. Um, I don't know, maybe the figure hugging thing? Maybe. I, I think you could carry it off, Si. What, being fat? No, well, uh, no, just wearing an extremely tight... Uh, shirt. Is it like one of those rugby shirts so that people can't actually get hold of you when you're running? Yeah, that's exactly it. Or even it's like a a, a like a bloody wetsuit. It's so tight. <laughs> <laughs> a wetsuit. It's so tight. It wets itself. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Kev says you guys are flying through the bills today. We are. Um, well, I haven't opened any bags yet, yeah, so I'm, I'm skipping to bag seven. Okay, um, we go through it like a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> Your reference to you there, mate. Really is. Blimey, who's that a picture of? Blimey, I just see the picture on the Instagram. I was like, Blimey, who's that? It's me. It's my niece. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, it's a birthday. That's cool. Um, so yeah, now I'm flying for it. Flying for it. Look, look, Kevin. Look, in 30 minutes, I've already built this. Look at that. And he built that with one hand. One hand. The hand that you can't even see built it. Just saying. So somehow, uh, Richard Brixton thinks he says, "Wait, what? You found Jesus in your COVID flab? He's probably <laughs> lodged in there somewhere." Yeah, I'm sure he's been found in worse. Exactly. And Mister Blue says, uh, "Great, great vlog today, mate." Thank you, dude. Appreciate that. I really enjoyed putting it together. I tell you what, though, Tech was right. Right, putting a vlog together is hard work, and it's not. I'm not even talking about you know filming it and stuff like that and trying to make it seem interested it's just putting it all together it's 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 hard work it's like i've got excessive amounts of footage folks i really have but uh just curiously actually anyone who has seen it yet let me know do you like the speed do you like the time lapse at the end of it let me know if you do um because i, I just thought it'd be a nice touch to do that and let me know as well what you guys have been building already you've you've lost the piece already yeah i just opened the bag and found the floor um I, what I, I a lot of people when you watch a vlog and stuff you just watch it and you don't think about what's being done but when you're people like us and people in the chat you you know why things are done so i liked the part where you walk from one um end of the 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 shot across the, the camera and out i am um, you know, I, I really like that. I think those kind of things are really good. But obviously, it probably took you about two or three goes to put the camera down, get the right shot, look at it. Is my head in it? Yeah, go back. Okay, I'm going to record it this time and then try. Yeah. The but one of the hardest things to do is just make sure, make sure you're looking at the camera lens and not looking at the um, the, 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 the pullout thing because it's easy to go. You, that's why when you see people doing some vlogs, they're doing this. They're like that. When they're talking to the camera like this, when they should be talking like that, but they don't, they do this because what they're doing is they're looking at the uh, at the pullout uh, sort of visual uh, display unit. Do, do you, you, you call view, viewfinder, we call yeah, it. Viewfinder, yeah. sorry, yeah, viewfinder. So visual display unit. Suddenly, all of a sudden, folks, I went back to 1982. Then I said, like a, 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 some computer nerd from the uh, late seventies. <laughs> yes, I'm going to pull out the. Uh, uh, central processing unit and uh, visualize it instead of looking directly uh, into the aperture. All this kind of malarkey. Malarkey. <laughs> um, yeah, no, yeah, I thought it was really good. Cheers, dude. I, uh, I really enjoyed it. We, we're going to do, um, I think, 
I think me and Tech, when we meet up on the fifth, he's gonna do. We're gonna do. We're gonna do two vlogs from it, right? Uh, he's he's gonna do the the, the shopping uh, and what we get up to and all that jazz. And he, and then I'm gonna do the. Uh, we get we get, we get a meal out somewhere because we can eat out now, folks. Um, and uh, we'll film the Lego haul on the day. Um, Joel says he got back from the Lego store with the um, Daily Bugle, and um, everyone is saying that they love the time lapse. Tech says you should oh. release the time lapse as a short. Yeah, I was thinking of doing that actually, getting all like all, all the days together. And just doing it, and just add it as a bit of a thing. Then um, I, I, I'm gonna do that. I think tech, but I might release it at the weekend because I've got them all. I've got all the all, all the movies there made. And I tell you what, oh my god, taking four thousand pictures and trying to render them uh, into a minute and a half's worth of movie does not take a lot of processing power. It takes hours. It, it literally, you, you might as well say kiss goodbye to. Six hours or so while, while you're rendering them all up. That, that, that's how long it takes for all of them. Um, Super Rick says, I am building the Batman cowl right now. That's pretty cool. Adam is here. Hey, Adam, how's it going? That's formerly Adam O. Um, and I think I have gotten. Uh, Brixing says, Greg, just set it to <laughs> automatic and hope for the best. Is he, is he talking about the camera settings? Because I tell you what. Um, so the, the first the first vlog I did, I was quite lucky. It was an overcast day. Then the last three weeks, folks, the sun comes out, goes in. The sun comes out, goes in all the time at the moment. So, and then I had to learn how to sort out the ISO, the auto exposure and all that sort of stuff. So it's been a bit of a learning curve for me, folks. Uh, but it's all right, though. It's, it's quite good fun. And it's a, it's a combination of doing stuff on, on, on this, uh, on your phone, and just using... I Actually, do you know what? I use four cameras all in... All in that vlog, I do. Got my own camera crew. Get 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 me get get my camera crew in for a few minutes. Make it look like I've done something, and then they all go again. It's as simple as that. It's all magic, folks. It's all part of the magic. Ask Tech; they tell you all about it. The entourage. <laughs> Will's dropped in. He said, "Wanted to swing through and say hi to all of you. Can't stay. Building a castle with a three-year-old. Been at it all day. Have fun, Will. <laughs> Take care, Will. Good to see you, dude." Okay. Now, chat. Um, I'm determined to get it something finished today. So, if if I'm not on you, that's, that sounds weird. If I'm not um t chatting uh, as much as normal, just keep talking, and Greg will take up the the pace. When yeah, I'm, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take up size slack. Don't worry about that. Yeah. Slag. <laughs> you slag. You slag. What, what you say and what you are turns my guts. <laughs> that was scary. Yeah. Don't mess with an East Ender. Oi, oi. <laughs> um, Adam says, recently watched your video where you got the Lego shoes. Great fit. Thanks, Adam. It's good to have yeah. Adam back again. Yeah, man. Defo. <sighs> Did, uh, have, you put, uh, have you gone for a run yet in your new trainers? A run. Are a you run, yeah. are you looking to get me walking? A run. Uh, but no, 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 I don't um I don't plan to go running in them. I will be cherishing them and I've got Jordans that are 20 years old. So um you know I, I keep a lot of stuff immaculate. So if I was gonna go running, I'd buy a specific pair of runners to run the crap out of. Um but it's something <laughs> I should do. I should go do running soon because I know you used to do a lot of running. Yeah, I used to run marathons and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I do a bit of running now, but nowhere near as much. I start, thank goodness now I've started losing weight, which is handy. Is that just from eating properly or doing a bit of, a bit more exercise? A bit more exercise, really. And just getting out and seeing people. I just I suddenly realised the, the trousers that I had on the other day were like that were like quite tight and now quite loose. So yeah, that was good. And that's pretty good. And, and since I've had this choking incident where I nearly died last week, you stopped uh, eating. Yeah, I, I, I've stopped eating because I'm scared to eat in case I drop dead again uh, momentarily. And secondly, now in all honesty, what, what I'm what I'm doing is just making sure I chew my food now, folks, and not inhale it, as the case may be. 
How's your build coming know. along? So si? how's your build coming along? I'm flying along, yeah. Oh, look at that. That's um a plate, a brick, and uh, a bigger brick. Redmond says just finished putting together the tiki minifig from the latest in Jago magazine. Uh you guys need to hustle. Uh, what? Tech, tech we, terms, right? Has he got a book or something in front of him? He's Googling. Is this Greg? You, Greg, you couldn't run a bath. I'll tell you what, Tech, you have to go out for a run. See how you're getting on with your uh, oh I just dropped I just dropped a stub. Um we have to see how you're getting on with your running. Isn't Tech running the London Marathon this this year? I think that's what he said, yeah. Yeah. That's that's got abusing written all over it. That is, I think that's something cool. Like you know, because you get a, a, a medal at, at the end of it, don't you? You do actually, yeah. Um, I might even have mine to hand actually. Really, I might have it here. Oh, I have actually. There we go. I thought we'd be able to see some ass crack, but there was none. No. You're not <laughs> that lucky, Si. Not in this street. There you go, Tech. London Marathon. Wow, that is awesome. It's big, isn't it? It's heavy. Yeah, and it even has London Bridge on it. That's so cool. Am I joking? I'm only joking. <laughs> But yeah, that is um well, well London London Bridge is close to that though, it's near the shard. So there we go. Got um starting on the, the right hand side there, you got the uh, the mayor's uh place, then you got the London Eye behind it, then you got the shard, then Tower Bridge, uh, then the big name, and then you got Canary Wolf in the background, which isn't even in London, really, folks. It's Docklands. Uh, but there we go. That's uh that's sculptures for you, I suppose. But there, there we are. That that's that is a proper London marathon. Medal. There we go. I don't know why it's got that funny cover on the back. I think it's rusted. But there we go. Bit it must be bronze. It's probably bronze. Bronze goes like that, doesn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. But um, oh, what year did you say that was? What? 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 Sorry. What year? Uh, 2017. That one. Wow. That's and old. It was a good one. And I tell you what, folks, I'm not joking. I lost a stone in weight running that marathon. Texas the bloody medal, 26 miles and no medal, no thank you. I would do it, but I know I'd probably end up crawling on my belly <laughs> halfway through it. Like but I'd like a medal. Oh, Tech, he's cracking me up, he is. Tech, you can you can buy these as well, by the way. I'll, I'll get you I'll get you one, but you can't pull them out of a poly bag. <laughs> hey, Midi Brick says, hey to myself and yourself. Um... Okay, I see what it said. What he says is nut bag. <laughs> um, Adam says, so I thought on the Ninjago C band sets. I'm kind of behind on Lego news because I've been away. I think they're pretty good. Like, I mean, I, I, I don't know. One of them, I think, is just, is a car, an underwater car that I'm, I'm not quite sure about. But I like them. I'm, I like the that whole. I like the way they've gone. They've been in space. They've been underwater. They've been in um, volcanoes, the jungle, like. You know, it's pretty good, but um, no, they, they go much, much more interesting the places they go than that monkey kid. He just always seems to be stuck on an old boat, doesn't he? <laughs> an old boat. I haven't seen any of the show. Yeah, well, I think they canned it there anyway, so it's not worth it. <laughs> is that <laughs> right, Tech? Uh, is it right? They canned it. They're not going to do any more. <laughs> That's why I must do these monkey kid streams at the moment, just to get them all out of the way, because no one's going to want to watch them in a few weeks. <laughs> like, people go monkey kid monkey kid nah never heard of it mate <laughs> <laughs> i'm only joking tech Doo -doo -doo. windows and doors <laughs> windows and doors i don't know why i started saying that that was weird <laughs> I tell you what I do want to get. I might get it when I'm out with uh, Tech. Is uh, is is a Monkey Kid set? Funny enough, and it's the uh, oh the jet, the white jet. I think that looks really nice. And I was quite enthused by it by when Tech when he built it. He kind of some of the construction techniques on it look particularly good. 
Oh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tweet this out as well. Let's tweet this out. Live on size channel. Thanks, dude. Um, so Tech for Dice, his monkey kid will go on forever. It'll go on forever in your mind, Tech. Uh, you just got to keep polishing that virgin metal of yours, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> I said that, Kev. Tech, I'll get someone else to do it for me. Entourage! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Polish my medal. Yeah. Buff my medal. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Oh yeah, the hydro bounty. That looks pretty good, Adam. Um he says yeah, that's my only, only get the the only set I'll get is the car for Jay and maybe the hydro bounty, which is pretty cool. Uh, thanks to everybody who voted in the poll and um, because I didn't really know what to make. Um and so basically the, the choice was Lego City or Star Wars or something else you choose. Um so some people were uh somebody even wanted fabuland so who i can't remember who it was so if you're here there's a fabuland figure for you wow um, sigh that's impressive dude yeah oh he's bowing hello how are you doing um oh get up so okay, how, how does he go Sai? i'm not doing that again that was racially I was gonna say, there was a bit <laughs> where'd that come from face don't draw it. I think he's doing a, a solo brick building. Then every now and again, he just does this voice thing. It's like, who's? It's a mouse voice, but you don't. You shouldn't be just. He might not want to be a mouse. <laughs> Is he a mouse? He looked like um, he looked like a rat or some sort. I think he's a mouse. Okay. You know what? I, I, he's hard to find on things like brick set and that. I don't know if he's rare or anything. I've got him in like this box of other Lego, and um, I'm sure somebody might write it in if anyone's into Fabuland. But um, yeah, I don't know what set he's from or anything. Um, lots of um, slagging Greg from Tech, which is I know, I know. I'm, I, I'm getting torrents of it. I might have to time him out in a minute. <laughs> Yeah, I agree, uh, Tim. Those uh, the new Mickey Mouse, uh, Mickey and Friends, I think it is. Those sets are awesome. So they are good, um, actually. I yeah. really like them. Yeah, I like them. Tech the did a stream of them the other day. Yeah, I, I, Tech. Which one was you building? And we'll um, give your stream some hype. Hype, hype. Uh, oh, it was it was Ty that wanted either. Uh, Duplo, God, if I, I didn't even see the Duplo bit. That would have been awesome. There's some really good Duplo sets out at the moment. I tell you what, right? We, we Tech and I are going to do a, a, a. Oh God, I just broke something. We're going to do a London Tech, and we're going to build Duplo sets because some of those Duplo sets are actually all right. Yeah, I'll do. I'll build a Duplo set if we, if you've more than one more guests, and I'll build a Duplo set. I've one in mind that looks. We, awesome. we, we could we could do one on the backlog. Yes, that's a good idea. We could have a guest for the backlog. We could have a guest if you like. Who would you like on? Well, Tech seems always on by Tech. Oh, Tech, what do we want Tech on for? He's always on. He's everywhere. No. <laughs> I'm only joking, Tech. I love you, really. Poor you could get the odd guest on if you wanted. But it'd have to be a themed one, wouldn't it? It'd be like a couple of hours of themed something. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe... People would want to watch us build Duplo. <laughs> I Was suppose anyone... They come to watch us build nothing, so. Well, speak for yourself. I'm building something here, yeah, aren't I? I'm bloody grafting here. He's sitting there just giving it all that, and I'm actually building something. You've been out there for three weeks. Two, it's a week. It's a week. I started it last week. Where'd you get three weeks from? <laughs> I just wanted to see you go nuts. <laughs> you leave my nuts. You ain't going to see my nuts. Yeah. Oh, fancy. Oh, my God. I didn't actually believe you about that deer. And I was waiting for the, the bit with the deer. And then the next thing, the deer is barking like, oh, I was like, what? <laughs> I, was like, I know. I was like, what? what? The hell's going on there? It, yeah, I thought it was a fake deer first. I was like, oh, Jesus, that's rubbish. What a fake deer. A fake and then deer. It's like, <laughs> yeah, my wife was down in the garden uh, with an old <laughs> Inu outfit on, uh, <laughs> pretending to be a deer. <laughs> it was like one of those heads you see in, like, I don't know, one of those... English pubs in in the countryside, the stag's head or something. You just took it off the, fire, <laughs> took it off the fireplace. I took it off the fire. Yeah, because I've got a fireplace with a stag's head on it. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird when it was a proper bark. Yeah, it's great. It wasn't happy. It wasn't happy with me. 
I tell you what, if they run at you, get out of the way because those things weigh a ton. Well, they're trespassing in your garden. Do you ever do they ever crap in your garden? They crap in the garden. Yep, they crap in the garden. It's actually very fertile, so I just lob that into the uh, uh, in, in, into the grass area, and uh, uh, I get badgers on there all the time. I get deer come up all the time. They eat your plants, folks. You won't believe the amount of uh, stuff they eat. They eat everything. I got. I got. I might. Should I show this? Would anyone be interested? Right. I got a woodpecker at the moment, and I'm not joking, folks. He's having a good old peck at one of my apple trees at the minute. I mean, honestly, I was out there the other day admiring the estate, like one does, and and I said, I said, there's a bloody woodpecker on my tree. Now I got. I know I got woodpeckers because they. You can hear them everywhere. It's, 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 sometimes, folks, it's, it's like it's like being in the middle of World War Two. It is, and all you can hear in the background is. <laughs> you think, blimey, that's a machine gun, isn't it? And it's not actually. It's it's, it's just woodpeckers going like crazy and insane because uh, there's a lot of trees in my area. So anyway, so uh, and then and then the other day I saw I saw a woodpecker was was trying to get some nuts out of the uh, the bird feeder. I was like, okay, yeah, whatever. And then I saw him on the tree. I thought, oh, God, I hope he's not having to go to the tree. He blew him was as well. He's having a good old peck at my apple tree. So I'm not too happy about that. So I don't know what to do about that, folks. I really don't. <laughs> if you if you take that into, like, innuendo territory, that is just the funniest. Oh, <laughs> my nickname, my nickname at school uh, was uh, for, for a couple of different reasons. We won't go into it. For you, tech at least. Anyway, it was uh, Gregory Pecker. <laughs> it was, and uh, like I say, but one of the main re one of the reasons I should say, one of the reasons I was called Gregory Pecker is because I was actually named after Gregory Peck. Oh, that's interesting. The actor, so, uh, yeah. Because I asked my dad once. I said, "Why did you call me Greg?" Anyway, or Gregory, as my name is. Uh, he went, "Well, I named you after the film star Gregory Peck." And I was like, okay, that's, "That's pretty, pretty cool. cool." Yeah, and then I asked my mum. Uh, who's um, of Irish descendant, like your good self, and uh, and, and, and and being being the good Catholic that she is, uh, she said, uh, "Oh, I named you after Pope Pope Gregory." And I was like, "Okay, yeah, I think I'll stick with the with, with the film star." Thank you. Yeah, uh, way more it. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the omen and all sorts of uh, shenanigans <laughs> he was in. Greg's little pecker. I, what can I say, Tech? I, I use a, a, a meter ruler. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> um meters and all that stuff. Uh um, so hi to the minifig who who has joined us. The minifig who? 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 Who are you? Look at this. Bag free. Ooh. Un don toi. Right, anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put a tweet out about this. Uh I'm getting a, a abusive chat from tech talking about my uh, my pecker. And all that. Brick, <laughs> Brick stage pass rights. Uh, pab flaps, oh. pab jugs, woodpecker, duplo legs, Greg's golden moments. <laughs> oh. I thought he was going to say golden rivet then. I glad he didn't go there, Si. <laughs> uh, okay. Is it me? I, I tell you what I'm really enjoying every day watching, folks, is, um, is, is Jarf Bricks and his underground that he's doing. It's unreal, isn't it? Yeah, do check him out, folks. Jarv Bricks is a good guy. He's actually streamed a couple of times with us as well. Um, maybe I have to try and get him on again. I've never been on with him. Have you not? He, he came on a couple of times. He, this is the, uh, so I said to him, I said, have you, got, have you got a good connection up in your loft? Because that's where he does all his stuff. Yeah. He went, uh, yeah, he, yeah, it kind of works all right. Well, anyway, when he came on, it was a bit of a nightmare. He, 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 it, it, made, uh, it made Solo Brick Builder look like 8K. Uh, <laughs> that's a nightmare. There's just a little, little call factor's got the uh, Mikey, he's got the Daily Bugle as well. Yeah, I, I'm gonna laugh. Right? I'm gonna, I, I'm watching everyone's review of the Daily Bugle, and I'm seeing how many of them actually call it. You know, when they say that this, they talk about the trumpet bit, but yeah. it's actually a bugle. I wonder how many people are actually gonna call it a trumpet and not a bugle because I've come across a few already. Just makes me laugh. Well, do you know? Right? Ash and Flash, I think it was on Twitter, said yeah. that he's going to get it the second it comes out because of the way Punisher is photoshopped. He, he's not prominent. It looks like Lego are trying to hide him. And they, he, he thinks, he, he, he just surmises, presumes that they may 
come into some sort of trouble that about having such a controversial figure there that they might pull him from the box. I don't know, but um, it's an interesting thought. Well, I wonder why they would do that though, because he's an eighteen plus. That's how that's how they got around doing it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, hey, uh, hey, Monarch, Mark. Uh, hey, Greg and Sai, Sai and Greg. What you built so far? A mini fig? No, I didn't even bother. I've built this. That. You know, a conservatory. A conservatory. It's a uh, yes. Yeah, so that's what. I'm... And thank you for the two pounds donation. Don't forget, anybody, if you do want to donate, uh, you're more than welcome to. I, uh, I don't know what I'll do. Um, but I'll probably yeah, do something nice for you. Start on your head or something like that. Do a sand. I'm not doing the sands. I'm not doing the sands. Yeah, do um, the sands. No, I helped initiate some of that. So, <laughs> oh, uh, that's yeah. I, I, I saw. I, I didn't realize you, you, you could. Um, it was her first stream where you could actually super chat. So that was kind of cool. Uh, I missed that bit. Um, I jumped out by that point. But and then I, and then I saw yeah, the sands the next day. I was like, blimey, he looks. He looks a bit French with all that writing on him. Like I thought he did some sort of strange moustache, but. Anyway, I wonder if it's yeah. more off yet. Yeah. It was her first. She, I don't think she. I think she was a bit reluctant to turn on the monetization. Um, where she went for it, and then everyone was giving um super chats, and then it was like, you know, what 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 will I do? And she so she was joking about getting a um a um a Scooby Doo. So then it just I can't remember who it was that started it. It might have well, it might have been snapped to good bricks or I can't remember who it was, but someone said um right on sands. So Sands was all on for it. Yeah, do it. So she it, she was gonna do it on on his on his arm and he said, No, do it on my face. So it started on his face and um I I she's she, she did shorten some of the names. So snap to grid bricks became S two B or something like that. And uh so I, I ended up just being sigh, but then I I donated and I said I want a triangular beard. So she, Sans hadn't a clue what it was. She did, and she did it. Um, and then, oh, someone else wanted a full beard. I think it was Midi Bricks wanted a, a goatee, but it was oh, so bloody funny. Oh, she just put an outline, like a jaw outline, instead. And then they realised that her dad was coming out for dinner. <laughs> and was that the first impression one as well? Like, have they met him before? Oh, no, he, he met he met the dad before, as far as I don't know if that was out in video. So it looked dance for you, Mark. Woo! I'm glad I'm wearing a black top because my boobs were bouncing there, and that's a different stream. They were actually. I found them quite mesmerising. <laughs> Rewind that, folks, and play it back several times. You'll know what I mean. You'll be hip. You'll be hip to time. I want to know what Brixing was talking about when he says uh, she didn't add my suggestion. What What was that, Brixing? Uh, do tell. <laughs> He wanted um, a male chicken and two Ooh. footballs and two footballs, but think of them as crude words. Uh, okay, I see. Ah, so, ah, ah, ah. Um, yeah, cock a doodle do. But just the fact of that, I think I, I like to have seen something like um, Tex outfit. You know, Tex outer ego outfit. Yeah, the one where he stands to attention in it. That's, so that's what speak. Richard wanted. Yeah, 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 cock a doodle do. Oh, no. You got a cockerel in there, or is that no leg? Yeah, no leg the cockerel. <laughs> hey, Cabbage Face, what's the story? Cabbage Face Bricks is going to be joining us tomorrow on the stream. Is he? Yes, he is. Oh, that makes a change. Yeah, um, I miss his little face. I don't see him as much, so I thought yeah, I'd bring him I haven't on. seen anything of him recently. Where's he been? Um, well, he still does. I think he just still does Fridays with um, Martin Boom Bricks and oh, Bricks. Okay. I, can't stay. Um, I can't watch that. I'm streaming myself then. Yeah, exactly. So, um, so I said to him, "Do you want to pop on?" He said, "Yeah." Um, yeah. I mean, it was funny. It was funny when, when Brixton wrote that in the chat, and then the next thing, Sans calls it out, and Claire's freaking out. What? No, I'm not doing that. No way. And he was like, "Come on, the man paid." This is it. Yeah. Once you pay, you you got to you know you're paying for a service, aren't you, folks? You really are. Yeah. Um, also tomorrow, Jang Bricks will be joining us on the panel. Um, the the guest for tomorrow can't be on. The guest for tomorrow is coming on next week. The 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 Lego Masters guest that is. Oh. So I think that tomorrow will be great fun. Um, Jang um, is looking to yes yeah, some free time. Wanted to hop on with us, so it'll be a bit of a a bit of a blast. Very cool. Um, Very I get cool. so distracted reading the chat. You this is why. Have you built? Have you nearly finished it yet, Sai? 
no god no jesus I'm, i think i've built put about 16 blocks together but this is what happens this is why i don't watch live streams when i come up to make a video because i'm like oh yeah and then it's a bit of a chat and it's hi and by the time you said hi to everybody it's much easier in a computer because it's recognized the name but if on your phone forget tech. it man. i think tech needs to send me a picture tech what is a truffle shuffle for the love of god it sounds like it sounds like something i get from a terry's you know Bar of chocolate or something. I'm, did I'm I say hi to Redmond? Hi, Redmond, if I didn't say hi. Hey, Redmond. I don't think you did, but good to see you, mate. I, I can help with the chat, Si. Yeah, you take it easy. Yeah. Get on the fields. Take it easy. Again. I'll put the feet up and get a beer. He says, I've been busy doing Kobe-related adventures. Ooh, that's interesting. Solo was saying, is Solo, was Solo saying last week that he's looking to do some sort of partnership with kobe or something like that is that something you you're doing is it going to be some sort of kobe partnership happening out there um for like sort of land but for kobe well yeah I was, I was trying to talk um solo into joining their version of land but he he yeah. i don't i think he's a bit reluctant um to... oh, I, thought, I thought he was up for that I, I, oh okay. is he maybe i wasn't listening no no, no maybe maybe I, I i misheard or something like that um no, you know me <laughs> Yeah, Jang on with cabbage. If you are you gonna warn Jang? You better warn Jang. I'll warn cabbage. About cabbage, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm actually out tomorrow, folks. I'll, I'll be jumping in later on in the stream. Um, but yeah, tomorrow I'm actually out. I'm gonna if anyone's around London tomorrow, I'm gonna be on the uh, funny enough, it's, it's called London Bridge. It's uh it's some penthouse thing that I'm going to for after work stuff. So uh, if anyone's around, uh, come on up. It's on top of Cold Church House. Anyway, look it up, folks. That's where I'll be tomorrow from 5.30. Otherwise, be at home and watch Sai on his stream. But then I'll, I'll be coming home later. So with a bit of luck, um, I'll be jumping in at the end of it. Leicester saying Truffle Shuffle is from the Goonies. Is it? Way before my time. Uh, Red Marks Bricks is <laughs> in and out of the streams. When you've got a fussy newborn. Ah, oh. anyway, great to have you here, dude. Whenever you can. Uh, Lego Joe says, "I have the toy shop. It's great. It certainly is, my friend." Simon said, "Da." Nah. Solo said he didn't want to join, so he could grumble about stuff. <laughs> I like Solo to grumble. The funniest thing, what makes me laugh, is Solo. You, you say to me, "Oh, you're very angry. You grumble about everything." He's like, "No, I'm not. No, I don't. I'm like yeah, you do. It's, it's your personality. That's why everyone loves you. It's, it's, it's Solo's charm." <laughs> exactly so i hate when you have to open bag two big bags together it's like oh my god merging hey, tech, go to stratford for me and get that cantina let me nail tech i mean even from london bridge well i'd have to walk down to actually no i tell you what it's two ways i could get i could even walk down to liverpool street and jump on the train to there to norwich uh god help me if i didn't get off that oh it's a it's a lovely, it's a lovely, uh, was it Red Sky at Night, Shepherd's Delight at the moment over London, folks. It's beautiful out there. Um, but yeah, uh, what's the other thing I was going to say? Oh, yeah, otherwise I could go from London Bridge and get the, uh, what's it called, the Jubilee Line across to uh, Stratford. But yeah, it's it's uh, it's a bit of a trek, mate. Um, anyway, uh, talking to trek, tech, uh, we can, uh, we'll be doing it on the 5th. Looking forward to that. He goes, I want results, not excuses. Who do you think you are? Blooming Emperor Palpatine or something? You sound like he's foreman. Oh, he's hilarious. Ooh. I'll be able to spell. Their, oh. um, their stream was really good the other day, the um, mockumentary one. Yeah, I watched that. It was good fun. It was good fun. Uh, that cinema... Of text is getting ginormous. Wow, it's epic. Hmm. And he's a big, he's a big build. Um, Claire's one uh, looks really nice as well. That was a real proper modular. And yeah. uh, what was uh, what was it? Kevin was building roller coasters? He seems to build roller coasters. I tell you what, it's an absolutely lovely evening out there. I'm going to take a photograph, folks, of the sky because it's that nice. Give me a second, folks. I'm going to take a photograph of the sky. I'm still here, by the way, so. No problem. But um yeah, no Kev. Um or the stream's really good. Anyone who hasn't seen 
uh, mockumentary. It's a it's a live stream that Tech Productions, I'm Bored Toys, and uh, Plastic Architect do together. Um, it's really good. So basically, they get some. I don't know what they're going to do after. It's obviously like a, a set, and you're going to do it over a few weeks, and they completely remodel it and do everything else. But um, Kevin from I'm Bored Toys did an awesome roller coaster, and um, he had a, a Kevin the Minion in it. Um, he had someone else, and I think someone called Sandra or something. Anyway, but it's brilliant. So go and check it out. Um, and Tech says thank you, Sai. I don't know why. But thank you, Tech. It is. It's really, really nice. I like it. Like, oh, for saying that I like it. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Now, this picture doesn't really do justice, side, but this is the sky over, over London at the moment. Hang on. Oh, wow. The end of the world. It is. It's proper That's apocalyptic. So cool. It's incredible. It's lovely. Anyway, roll on tomorrow. Red sky at night. Shepherd's delight. I mean, anyway. Uh, let's uh, let's get this tech. Let's get this uh, this message out there. Um, anyway, what else is a uh, uh, tech abusing me about? <laughs> he said, um, "Mitty Bricks said, who's buying what on June the first? Daily Bugle, Infinity Coin. Isn't the Bugle out today? Yeah, everyone seems to have it. I thought, yeah, yeah. maybe yeah. they got it early. I think a lot. I think it's." I thought more people would be streaming it today, but I don't know. Maybe it's it's, it's not at a, like a massive start. I, I'd see what I'm getting on June the 1st because I'm going to be in London on Tuesday, so I might as well just pop down there in my, in my lunch break uh, to Leicester Square. Uh, I'm going to get the, the awesome set. So actually, you know what? Next Friday, next Friday, next Wednesday for the backlog. June, uh, June 1st. Sorry, Greg. June 1st for the Bugle. Oh, it's, it's June 1st. Oh, I thought it was today. So... Um, <clears throat> So where did um, oh maybe you got it through beyond the brick? Maybe that's how uh, Mikey got his. Maybe on the brick. Yeah, maybe it's beyond the brick. Um, the Google is for VIP today's. Oh, okay, yeah, it is available today for VIPs. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I tell you what, I do like. I do like the. Um, I don't know the name of it. I keep forgetting the name of it. It's the it's the big spaceship that's coming out. The 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 one. Benatar. Yeah. Yeah. I think that looks really nice. So I'm definitely going to get that. Yeah, me too. Oh, I've got the older one. I've got all mm. the 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 uh the blue one, the orange one, and I'm going to get this orange one as well. Yeah, Minark likes the uh, Lego mockumentary as well. Um, it's, it's it's very cool, man. It's very cool. It's a good stream. It's one of my favourite streams. Mockumentary, the backlog, London calling, uh, London Eye. They're all, they're all my favourite streams. <laughs> <laughs> Sayo Connor. Wait, thank you. Rick Hives. Um, oh my god. Uh, this is the uh, so Tech sent me a picture in. Um he's yeah, interesting. Okay, I'll have to look that one up on YouTube as well, uh, just to make sure I get the maneuver correct. Uh thank you. Hey Scott Davis. Hey all. Oh, that's cool. Oh, uh, Fooling with Bricks says, um, uh, Fooling with Bricks has just messaged me on Instagram, DM'd me. Thank you, mate. Um, and he's just put a story out about us, which is nice. Oh, cool. Very cool. I like that, mate. I'm going to add that to my story. <laughs> because, at least some of us around here know how to do stories, so I. Ah, uh, shoot your face. I don't, I don't know. I did it right. And I, I put music on and I put the timer on and then I pressed done. And then it said send to your story or send to people. So I sent it to you. And then I went to see and it was it said failed. And I was like, oh, so annoying. So I gave up. I gave up. Where's the phone? <laughs> That's cool, man. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have to watch a tutorial. I thought I knew how to do it, but I got I got it onto my story, but I couldn't mm. I couldn't share it then out, outwards. You couldn't share it outwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very cool, mate. Uh, what we've got going on here then? So, uh, I mean, our tech productions. All promo is good promo. 
It's that needs, my friend. Uh, Cabbage Bay Tricks is I'm going to buy the bugle. Oh, cool, man. Um, Brick Scenes is also, man. I'll keep an eye out because I'm off work next few days. So I'll tune in to try and tune in. Tech, why are you off work? It's going to be sunny now for the next few days. Uh, this is ideal weather for you now. Because I'll tell you what, mate, I wouldn't have done, I couldn't do your job over the last week or so. It was a nightmare. Um, if any of the streamers are staying up late on June the 1st, Eve, I'll be doing a stream over midnight if you want to hop on. Yeah, Tech uh, Tech, Tech was speaking to me about that the other night. It's a bit of a school night for me, that one. I've got to be up at 5, well, 5.30 actually on that day to um, uh, to get in. So, no, I don't think, I can't really, I, I try and survive on about four hours sleep, folks. But to be honest, I'm good for nothing uh, most of the time, let alone on four hours sleep. Uh, food and with bricks. This question: What editing software uh, do you Lego YouTubers out there use? We use anything that's cheap and cheerful. Um, and Cy doesn't. Cy use um, I I movie. Yeah, yeah. I movie's good. I think tech. Do you use iMovie? Um, I use Filmora, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, and Solo Brick Builder uses another one as well, but I. Can't remember what that one is. Da Vinci? Da Vinci. I think it was Da Vinci. Yeah. That's the one he uses. Uh he says, I know I can't keep us going for work. Yeah, and we've been working in the rain for the last few days, and now it's sunny. We are at home. Oh. Well, it's kind of good, I suppose, in one sense, mate. Um, but yeah, I know tomorrow's gonna be nice. So cool. Um, yeah, look out for those streams, tech. That'd be good to see you doing those, mate. It'd be very good. Well, uh, uh, uh. Do you know, and there's so many other um, there's so many other sets that I still haven't gotten from like last year and this year. Mm. It's just it's it's impossible. But yeah, I just need to get them and arrange well, them. This is you earlier on about the friends set that was going for forty three pounds on Argos. I know, I know, I know, and I there's something that I'm gonna get that i can't get the friends one basically there's a load of road plates that i found in a shop so i'm uh, going to get them so yeah there's about 11 of them oh wow that's good. yeah I'm not, yeah i'm i'm not um giving up on road plates and i noticed over here a lot of the road the, the road the new base plate lego road base plates whatever they're called the new ones a lot of them are down like they're all by about five or six euros they're, they're off yeah, and that's... i was asking smiths and they're saying that they've sold hardly any oh really yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm not really surprised to be honest. Is this my like, base plates? I think are an easier sell than the new plates or the new road system. Yeah. Say the new road system. Uh, tech, I did buy box. Go on. Uh, tech, tech, tech saying the flower bouquet is discounted on, on Amazon as well. Cheers, mate, and thanks for getting in touch with me earlier on to tell me about the friends deal. I really appreciated that. Um, yeah, that was really cool. Anyway, let's do this. Uh, Let's stick this out, shall we? Pop this on that funny old app that they call Instagram. Nicoletta, no, I didn't get the Daily Bugle. I won't be getting it for a few months, I don't think. I still have to get the Cantina and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not like the Bugle's going to go anywhere very soon. I mean, it's going to be around for a couple of years, yeah? Exactly, yeah. Exactly. I'm thirsty now. Uh, yeah, I knew that would be the response from Lorraine. No. <laughs> <laughs> what is she worried about you getting? Uh, are you are you going to get anything specifically on June the first? Oh yeah, I'm about three sets. So I'd like to get one of the Disney um, Mickey and Friends sets. Um, I want to get one of the um, new Marvel sets, and there was something. Oh, the um, Lego Wildlife, the City Wildlife sets. At least one of those. Maybe the one with the elephants. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. The Barracuda, Barracuda Bay is something I need to get as well. Oh, yeah. Tech. Tech, if you hear anything about the Batwing, let me know, because I'll only buy that set on discount, in all honesty. The only other thing I might do as well, and I've got it pending to watch, is um, High T Toys. She bought the corner garage, and she's done, there's a mock where you can convert it into two other buildings. And I was thinking, yeah, 
I could do that. I need more buildings for Lagondon. And of yeah. course, once we get back in the cabin, I can kind of reboot all that as well. So that's quite cool. Um, Techie saying, feel free to hop on the stream with me, Sai. Yeah, you will, Sai, because you're, you, you like you're okay to stay up late. Yeah, um, that'd be pretty cool. Thanks, Tech. I can watch that back in the morning then. See what you got. I love Tech's um, streams. Yeah, they are good fun, actually. I do enjoy them. I'm a bit FOMO that I can't come on it, in all honesty. Just um, ringing sick. <laughs> Uh, well, I can't really because it's Tuesday. I want to go into. I'm I'm going to be in London because Tuesday is the first, and I can oh, yeah. get yeah. So I can get the awesome set. And if I get the awesome set on Tuesday, that means next week, folks, we can build the awesome set on the backlog. Yes, I forgot about that one. That's a damn good idea. Uh, Nicoletta, London Bridge Bricks. Yes, Greg. Yes, I see the Heidi Toys video. I like the mock. Of the corner garage set. I don't know if anyone else has seen it. Do they like it as well? Is it pretty good? I didn't see it. Oh, Fooling with Bricks says, my favourite modern set is the Barracuda Bay going to be my second one. I need to get that. I will need to buy that before it kind of goes into the wibbly-wobbly world of retirement. Now, I forgot what Mark was asking oh yeah mark it's uh the, i think if didn't some if anyone didn't answer it it's the the friends tv show um that's the lego set that's on discount it's not like lego friends it's the friends tv show yeah do you know that is a thing though isn't it lego had to be quite specific when you when you come out with those details yep and lorraine says tech productions he has to ask me first sorry <laughs> <laughs> right I've got that out there. Just gleaked. Um, Menard, the restaurant that Kevin built on the first mockumentary is discounted in Asda. Yeah, I think I think Argos are doing a couple of sets at the moment, uh, friends. One, they're, 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 um, the hairdressing one and another one, I think they were like £30 for two. Anyway. Anyway, um, Tech says, yeah, I, I should have asked you, Lorraine, my bad. Well, sometimes, like, if Lorraine was working early in the morning, I wouldn't be able to do stuff like that. But um, we could come to an arrangement. I could do a stream from the kitchen, I suppose. Um, so, yeah, um, super oh, – God, I nearly said something different there. <laughs> Slippery Bricks, uh, we've got enough VIP points. Uh, for a hundred dollars, so Barracuda is definitely next during double VIP. Um, Cabbage says we love getting nil point. Um, yeah, I didn't think your man was that bad to get like zero points. I think that was just Europe getting revenge for Brexit. Um, really, <laughs> um, you want to leave us, you get nil point. Um, Bruce, well, thanks for the stream. Gotta go and take, uh, gotta go take care. See you later, Craig. So, see you. Have a good day, and we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, so Jang will be here tomorrow to so drop in, and say hi. Um, and oh, loads more people. As soon as you think you're finished, loads more say, It's a Bible edit. Uh, da, 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 oh, god. Elaine says, I'll let him out to play that night. I'm working late the next morning. Thanks, mom. Um, oh, who's he? Oh, look at him. I don't know if you know you're on mute. God damn it. <laughs> I come out with a really funny joke then as well. Uh, uh, there you go, again. Take two. Duplo legs. There we go. Little tech. <laughs> uh, yes, they're, really, they're kind of like the stiff little legs. They're quite cute, actually. It's a bit of a, an adult torso. He's, yeah. he's got like a yeah. He's got a bit of a COVID belly, <laughs> a COVID yeah. belly, and um, tiny little legs. Cabbage is going. See you later, Cabbage. Uh, got a dash. Looking forward to the stream tomorrow. Take care, everyone. See, see you soon. See you later, Cabbage. I miss Cabbage not coming on on a Friday on London calling. Yeah. 
I miss his, I miss his, his, his jokes and stuff. The only, the only t- what I will give you, the times he does come on, he, he comes on Jimmy when I do a London Eye, because uh, at least then we can catch up. Yeah. One, two, one. Oh, okay, that's all right. <laughs> Tech, you do make me laugh. Um, Tech, are you going to? Uh, so it's number 70 this week, folks, of the uh, London Calling Lego live stream. <laughs> uh, Tech, are you going to send me an alternative thumbnail this week as well? Oh, God. <laughs> okay, just not looking for a brick separator. I'm still here, though. I got about 90 of them. You've got 90 brick separators. What are you going to do with all of those? Obviously, keep losing them. <laughs> um, but don't just keep them. I, I've got to be honest. I don't actually throw any away. It's still Lego. I guess it is. What do you guys do out there? Do you guys throw away your Lego separators? Do you wait for the ends to get a little bit worn and then just sort of lob them in the bin? Or do you just kind of keep them all? I mean, it is still technically Lego. There's some. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and a green one. So twelve just to hand. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. So, Tech, I've got a question for you, Tech. Uh, Tech says, yeah, I'm sure I can conjure up something, Greg. Well, you were showing your artistic skills to exemplary levels last week, Tech, even if I say so myself. Uh, especially, especially, I like I, my favorite out of the two. In all honesty, it was probably version two uh, with the, uh, how can I put it, the um, uh, the, the adaptation, the, the, the carved in, uh, how can I put it, yeah, the slightly carved in uh, Sayo Connor face. I, th- I, thought that was, I thought that was very clever, uh, a very good use of uh, Microsoft Paint, that was. So anyway, anyway, I've got a question for you lovely lot out there. Um, so bricks then, when, when you're building walls in lego do they always build them like that so that they kind of not necessarily opposite but they kind of overlap do they always do that to kind of strengthen the bricks as they're being constructed please do help me with that folks i'm interested to know just pop it up again oh I'll pop it up again there we go like that see that the way it's done there so you've got the the one by one here or rather here and then you've got the same over here and then the rest of it's kind of one by fours is that I'm not saying the size. I'm just sort of the style of building bricks. Is that the way they do it? Just to give them strength and stuff like that. So I'm asking the, the people out there, the, the mockumentaries amongst us. I think it's for integrity. Integrity. Structural integrity. That's a word I keep hearing banded around these days. The, the, the two very, very much used words these days in uh, in Lego dictionary is awesome and integrity. Integrity. Yeah, bye, Nicoletta. Thank you for being here. See you tomorrow. Uh, oh, my God. Um, Tech says to Lorraine, what a pleasant image, no? Um, uh, it depends how close you are to the image, I think, Tech, in all honesty. Yeah, uh, it wasn't your ear hole. It kind of gives a new, uh, a, new, a new explanation to the term bird's eye view. Um, all I say, folks, I'm glad it wasn't a scratch and sniff picture. Did did, did Lorraine see the picture? Of course. And uh, <laughs> I'll leave it at that. She thought it was hilarious. <laughs> did, did 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 you show her the one with your face on it? Yeah, that's what. <laughs> any any of those kind of things in there in that group, I show her. If we didn't show her, she'd be like, what are you all laughing at? And then she'd yeah, be well, paranoid. Laughing. So just show her. Show me. I don't even know if Steph is still in that. Like, is still if Steph still gets those things. Yeah, I, yeah, I do kind of, yeah, you kind of wonder, don't you? 
be, because she has brick in it in her name as well it, it was going to the two places yeah so there's that little map um on a thingamajigger so that's pretty cool on a sticker oh that's good good application there mate thank you um i'm getting better at them <laughs> tech says he was doing enough sniffing for the lot of us oh, <laughs> oh tech you, you can tell tech's on my little break at the moment can't you he's all giddy he's all giddy 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 giddy, giddy, giddy. So you know what? Uh, now I've built a fair amount of Lego sets in my time, and in all honesty, every every bed I've ever built out of Lego seems to be different to the last. That's true. One of the best beds was the one from um, the um, the Bounty. Yeah. Oh, you remember that one? Yeah. yeah. You could actually put Master Wu in it, which was I thought was amazing. Loved it. That was one of my favourite London texts. That was the uh, the Destiny's Bounty versus the Monkey Kid Secret Team HQ. I think it was called. That was a good set. That was a better set than I thought it was actually. That's true. He see, Texas he should be editing the vlog, but my comedy is much more appreciated here. I appreciate. We both appreciate it. We think you're bonkers. <laughs> Yeah, tech does make me laugh. Blah, 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 blah. Blimey, Cy, si, you, you, you're standing up to do that. Well, you see, I've, I made loads more room on the desk on the table now. Well, oh, exactly. okay. Yeah, so I can push the, the laptop way back more and then have the actual instructions on the table and then have Lego on the table. But with it being so far away, I have to stand. Now I know why Ryan stands up all the time. I think he did try and sit down for a while, but it just doesn't work. Um, but um, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I was thinking of getting, and I still am to a certain degree, folks, um, going to Ikea. I might go to Ikea the weekend, actually. I could vlog about it because it'll be for the cabin and stuff. And I was thinking of getting a stand-up, sit-down desk you know, electronic desk that goes up and down. But they're yeah. about 500 quid. And I've had a bit of an outpouring at the moment of money for the cabin, folks. So I might just get a normal table. But the tables are quite long. So that's not kind of too bad in that respect. Because I'm used to such a small area to work in. I mean, literally, folks, I'm working in an area that's no bigger than that. Uh, but I could just get a bigger desk going forward. Or I could bite the bullet and get a stand up sit down desk but that could be a bit of a pain when you're setting it up do you know what i mean sorry because like yeah. i'd have to change all the lighting rigs and everything like that yeah oh in the cabin um well without any spoilers I, I what kind of lighting are you going to get done in there or have you thought about have you thought of that far ahead yeah 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 I've, I've i've ordered the lighting and that should be arriving this friday uh, but the the electrician doesn't come back because the electrician has already been, folks. You just haven't seen that part. You haven't seen uh, the second part of the, the, the vlog week two yet. Um, I say that, nor have I yet. It's it's uh, it's all in all in data files at the moment. Um, but that's the thing because I'm vlogging every day and I'm doing the time lapses every day. God, the amount of data that I'm building up is unbelievable. <laughs> but anyway, it's it's. it's uh, yeah, I've all, I've ordered it, but all the lights are going to be dimmer switches, and oh. I'm going to have four slots of lights. So There's going to be four, eight, 16, 16 lights in that, uh, at least from the season anyway. That's pretty cool. But, and will, will, will you be able to adjust them? Yeah, they're all. They're each, each light is going to be on its own separate dimmer. Right. So I've got I've done that, and also as well, I bought the sort of lights that if I wanted to. Right, I can I can tie some like fishing line to them and have things flying over, uh, <laughs> um, uh, you know, Legondon and all that kind of stuff. That's pretty cool. Uh, Fool and Bricks says uh, IKEA is an A Fall's best friend. That's true. Yeah, it really uh, is. Man. And Hadrian's Wall's here. Hey, Hadrian's Wall. Good morning. Hello, 
He popped into my stream last week. It was nice to see him. Yeah. Hey, open build with Pete's here. Hey, open build with Pete. Ah, I like open build with Pete. Yeah. I haven't seen him do anything for a little while, unless I've missed the uh, notifications, but I like watching a bit of him. Me too. Some good, too. Stuff. good cool name as well, by the way. I love the name. Yeah. I noticed that I don't get notifications for everybody anymore. Yeah, I don't get I don't get that many to be honest. And I like I, I try and get as many different peoples as possible, but sometimes they just they just don't come up. Like sometimes tech, tech would have done a stream and I wouldn't have known anything about it. Yeah, I don't even get a, a notification for your um, backlog, like ever. Really? No. It's weird, isn't it? I, I wonder if it's just a live stream thing. Hopefully. So there's a, a little examination bed. Oh, hello. Hello. Um, nothing special. Why is there an examination bed in a skiing resort? In case you fall on your snot. <laughs> in case you fall on your snot. Yeah, which basically means if you fall on your face, you have to get, or if you get fall on the piece uh, and you need to get rescued because sometimes people like to go on the piece when they go on the piece and they get a little bit too tipsy and they fall off. <laughs> you mean they get, they get pieced? <laughs> they sure do. <laughs> a friend of mine went skiing before and I think he was only there a day or two and he, he came off the, the skis, mashed his face up, had a scar and everything, and had to spend the rest of the whole time just, like, in bed. He was in, I was in hospital. He was in a bad way. Oh, that is a bad way, mate. That is. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. No way. Yeah, I went skiing. I used to go skiing in France, up in the Alps. And, um, yeah, in London, I used to go to a ski slope called Beckton Ski Slope. I'm not sure if it's still there now, actually. Might be a restaurant on it now or something like that. But, anyway... So I used to go skiing there. Then I went skiing in France. That was good fun. Until the time I went skiing in France. And uh, I fell off a cliff, uh, which what? was quite weird. Yeah, I was in a whiteout. So I was in this, this thing they call a whiteout. Basically, folks, it's, uh, it's skiing talk uh, for a snowstorm. And that's what I was in. It was, a, it was like a scene out of Hoth, um, but without the, the Hoth Wampa or um, any of the Tontons or anything like that. So I'm skiing around, can't see where I'm going for toffee. And next thing I know, I'm going along. And then I felt, I thought, oh, I can't feel anything under my feet for about 40 feet. And uh, yeah, just fell into a big kind of giant snowball, if you like. And uh, yeah, came down the mountain. And I thought, you know what? I don't fancy skiing anymore. So I never went back. <laughs> and that was that. God, I've never been skiing. I like, yeah, would I like it? I probably like it. I probably prefer snowboarding more than skiing, really. Yeah, that, that is one thing I would go back and try is the snowboarding side of it. I think snowboarding looks quite fun, actually. Yeah. I, bet, I bet Tech. I can imagine Tech doing a bit of snowboarding. Oh, yeah. You know it. Yeah, Tech, let us know if you've done a bit of snowboarding before. But I used to I, – I like skiing, but the problem was then I come back to this country, right? Uh, Greg, can we go skiing? Yeah, we can go skiing if you want. Uh, the only problem is, right, was – I come back here. You've got Milton Keynes, Tech. Um, I don't think that's a million miles away from you. So uh, I remember, though, when I used to come back from skiing, I'd be like, oh, I really want to go skiing now, you know. And then you go on the ski slope and you think, oh, this is rubbish compared to the real thing. And when you're up there in the Alps and you're seeing, you know, the mountainous, you know, uh, visual that you're looking at, it looks amazing. Yeah. It really does. It's a beautiful vista. Uh and you go back to a dry ski slope, you're thinking, oh, this is a bit naff. Um, and that was it, really. You've got cool things like that in, in the UK where you can do go skiing and ice skating any time of the year. And hey, Milton Keynes, Tech. I know friends that used to go Milton Keynes, but 
I'd be lucky these days if I could do the snowplow, in all honesty. <laughs> but I used to really enjoy it. I didn't like falling over. Blimey, eating the snow sometimes. That's well hard. I'll tell you what, folks. If you if you want to um, you want to experience stress in the middle of the Alps, uh, going down a black run or a, or a dark blue run, I've never done anything like it in my life before. So I did a couple of uh, green runs, and I was like, "Gosh, this is really easy. Let's do, let's go and do the hard ones." Blimey, I thought I was going to die. <laughs> I was like, I was I was going down like slopes at this angle. I was like, this is defying gravity doing this. You're a thrill seeker. <laughs> well, I used to be. And now, uh, now I build Lego. <laughs> <laughs> I think the older people get sometimes the kind of more fearful they get. Well, I got to be honest, right? Without sounding too dramatic here, folks. I really don't do the drama thing. If I can help it, um, a text says, "Yeah, I can ski well, but I'm not a great boulder." We are meant to be going away in December, so I may get a ball in. Yeah, it's a ski, it's, uh, balding is completely different to to uh, to skiing. I always remember watching the boulders, thinking, "God, that looks like really good fun." It really does. Um, but anyway, something, something I like to do. I'll tell you what I like to do. The, the one thing I would definitely love to try is you can get those balls uh, and tech. Let me know what it is if you know what it is. Um, you can get these balls where you can go along the water on them. They're the same sort of size as a ski board, but also as well, you're connected to a kite. Now that I would love to try and do. I really would. I don't know about that. Oh, I could just imagine my look, a gust of wind would come along and I'd be blown off to flipping Australia or somewhere or shark infested waters. And that's the last you'd see me. That would be that would have to be a hell of a blow off, mate, to do that. <laughs> I mean, you got quite you, I would imagine you've got quite a good, how can I put it, lower center of gravity. I actually do. Yeah. So I can um, I'm able to go on skateboards quite easily. <laughs> <laughs> Ski Patrol sticker. Mm. Yeah, he says the boulders do look pretty cool. They are. They, they do look cooler. Yeah, absolutely right, Tech. I, I was, I was envious. I was like, God, that actually looks miles more fun. Actually, I'm like doing all this on the skis. But what I was actually watching was the uh, the boulders. I thought they looked like they were having much more fun. So I'm building the tower section now of the apartment, folks, and it's all made up. I think they're about five high, five bricks high, five. What would we call these? Well, it's four at the end. So what's that? Four by five slope. Do they call them just roof. Do they sometimes call these roof tiles? No. Well, I I'd call them slopes. I call it a slope as well. I call it a slope. We'll call it a slope for tonight. Yeah. We'll it, yeah. Very cool though, I like this. So has anyone out there built the alternative builds to the corner garage? If you have, did you like it? And secondly, would you recommend it? Because I'm thinking of getting it just for that. I might get that when Tech and I meet up. I'm on big side. I know. Try not, to make, try not to make a balls of the sticker. All right, take your time. No, Don't rush here, here folks, look, this is what I'm building. Oh, he's back. There we go. So it's a really that. good, um, um, you know, it's a really good roof, and it doesn't take long to build, and there's not a lot to it, but it looks really well um, when it's finished. I actually stay sometimes. I, I, I like to, I frequent in Bath quite often. I like yeah. it there. If I could live anywhere else other than London, it would be Bath. Don't know if anyone else has ever been to Bath. Tell me what you think of it. But there's everything in Bath I could ever, ever want, right? But believe me, folks, right, you think your house prices are expensive in London and they're extortionate, take it from me. They really are, right? But
But in Bath, they're even more expensive. But the one place, a place, that I like to stay in Bath, it used to be called Hotel Magdala. They've changed the name over the last year or so. But if you do a, a Google search, folks, for Hotel Magdala in Bath, you'll see that it has a roof on it exactly the same as that. Very cool architecture. It really is, folks. I can't remember what it's called. It came under new management. And basically, it went from being extortionate to being ridiculous. But it was fun while it lasted. Otherwise, some good Airbnbs in bar, folks. You can get some fantastic apartments, literally for like a, a smidgen of the price of what you'll pay for the, uh, for the hotels in Bath. But they are nice, though. Good for a weekend away from London because Bath, Bath from London is like two hours away and it's like a completely different architecture. It's beautiful architecture. It really is, folks. And uh, when I met my wife, the, our first kind of trip away together was to Bath. So we kind of always kind of have a bit of a, a, a thing for it, a connection to it. I'd, I've always wanted to go there. It looks awesome. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. Actually, do you know what? Quite a while ago, last year, I was thinking of staying in Bath and in Chris from Bricking It, we were going to go to the um, the show at Swindon. Oh, the steam, the steam, steam something around in Swindon. It's, it's basically one of the best shows of the year, folks. It really is. I'm going to have to try and put in for that, see if they're actually going to be doing it this year. And then what I do is I stay in Bath. I don't even see to Bricking It. I said, if you're around, come down and stay over with me. But. That's pretty uh, cool. Well, then COVID happened, and uh, that was that, really. I put an end to that. I like, all, I, I, you know, there's, there's so many kind of Roman things in and around the UK, and I love all that. And it's brilliant that we don't, like, for Irish people, we don't have, we, we, the Romans never came to Ireland, so we've no Roman stuff. But um, no. it's brilliant that we don't have to go to, like, Italy to see stuff like that, like, because there's loads of awesome stuff in the UK. Hmm. Well, why didn't the Romans? I mean, you're lucky, really, mate. That means the Irish weren't enslaved like the Brits were, or the English, I suppose, as we were back then. Um, how comes they didn't come? Go, why didn't they go to Ireland? What's the history there? I don't know what the actual story is. I presume it's something to do, like, you know, it's, I'd say it's something along the whole Scottish line. You know, the Scottish were a bit too mad, so they just built a wall to keep them out. But I know that Roman um, coins were found here. So I think the story goes they came here on holidays, which is just <laughs> bonkers, yeah. No, that's kind of cool, though. Yeah, the well, old Scots were a bit crazy back in those days, folks. Blimey. Yeah. They, I mean, they basically used to run at you stark naked. I mean, <laughs> you know, it's, the, the Romans back then probably thought, blimey, what's going on here? I'm not going to mess with that lot. The, the, the weather's freezing way. cold, and they're coming at you like two and a dozen, and uh, you know, I don't know where to put your face, let alone your sword and your shield. <laughs> Got a load of Scottish baguettes running towards you. Yeah, I say, oh, uh, yeah, put those bagpipes away. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, filling with bricks. He says Bath is a nice. It's nice to fish there uh, when travelling to Bristol. So do you, do you go fishing in the Avon uh, then, Fooling? Now, do you actually – here's something. Uh, now, for any, any kids or anyone uh, watching this back, folks, Avon is actually Latin. Did you know that, Si? I did not. Uh -huh. And do you know what Avon is Latin for? Um, eyeliner. Close, very close. Uh, it's, oh, really? Uh, it's river. So oh, the river Avon, really, folks, is called the river river. The river yeah. river. Tech, do you fancy that? We could meet up. We could we could go to that steam show and then maybe have a, you know, stay up in some Airbnb or something, some apartment in Bath. We could, we could, we could stream from a bath. Oh, How that's that I always said I was going to do a stream from a bath. <laughs> and that's exactly how I'm going to do it, folks. <laughs> Bath stream. Uh, Tech says Bath is quite away from Swindon. Um, Brixin says those days we'd still run at you like that. <laughs> you know, I've I've been to Scotland and I think I've seen stuff like that on the way out of the pub. Um, Brixlot, Brixlot says 
Hello, my mammals. Hello to you, Brickslot. Thank you for dropping in. I hope work's going well for you. Um, yeah, Brickslot, I haven't seen you for a while. Good to see you. Has um has Brett? I've not seen Brett around too much either. I'm missing him. Part of the old gang. He is. He's part of the old gang. I think Brett was on. Was Brett on mine last Thursday for a few minutes? Yeah, I haven't seen Brett in age, for ages. Brett's Brett. Well, he's like me. He's a night owl, so I do see him in you know places like uh, Who's Your Brick streams and um, with um, and the, the Pink Bucket Nation people and stuff like that. But they they all do really late nights, and like normally I'm just flying through saying hi on the way to bed, bye, and that's it. <laughs> Uh, Tech saying it's only an hour away, Greg. Uh, I live closer to Swindon than Bath. Uh, well, yeah, you should do. Swindon is nearer to you than Bath. I, even I know that. Um, the, the, the reason is Swindon isn't a mile, isn't that far away. So um, from Bath, so it's easier for me. Uh, and he says you can keep the offer about the Bath. Oh, that's a shame. Um, El, El Brico. El Brico's in the house, folks. He says, hey, everyone, Greg and Cy, did you guys get the Daily Bugle today? <laughs> no, I was gonna do that. We didn't. We didn't. Nope. We didn't. Otherwise, we'd be building that right now. Uh I mean 25 mini figures, it would take us the whole stream just to build those side. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, I know what size is gonna be building next week now, so that's that sorted. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, so, so I'm saying that side. Are you actually gonna be building that next week? Because you can do it over a few streams, can't you? Which the set you're building at the moment, you, you can build that over several streams, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, could I? I thought we were doing the um, everything, everyone is awesome next week, are we not? Oh, I am. Are you, are you able to get one as well? Uh, oh crap, I forgot about that. No, yeah, um, no, so I'll be doing this boring, and then um, I nearly called you Nullig. Um, Greg is going to be building the awesome, everyone is awesome set. <laughs> hey, Mikey. Um, Mikey, the cool factor. Um, some late nights Sorry, coming, just got the bugle today. Yeah, we saw that, you lucky boy. I saw that. Yeah. Is that is that beyond the brick one, Mikey? Or is that um is that just oh good? So I'm saying that, of course, the VIP uh bods can actually get it, can't they? Mm-hmm. Wicked. Wicked. Yeah, so Mike, I will be hanging out with you over the next few nights watching you build that. Yeah, I'm going to be interested to know if um, Mikey likes that. So he put, he put a thing out earlier on. Are you actually going to start it tonight, Mikey? I know you, you're a bit strapped for time at the moment. Um, because if you do, then I'll watch it back a bit in the morning. Uh, sorry, you haven't been doing any videos recently uh, in the last week or so. I'm missing your vids. No, just taking it easy. Um... Like we always say and give advice to other people, I, I don't want to be forcing it. So, yeah. um, you know, and late Lorraine's been coming home late ish at night, and then the dinner is being done and everything. So, just wants to hang out with her. And, but, um, yeah, so. No, oh, man, that's cool. That's cool. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I just miss your videos. That's all. It's like I, I messaged um, Solo Brick Builder today. I said, oh, wait, where, where, where's your content? I said, I'm missing the, I'm missing your stuff. Yeah, I'm just sort of touching yeah. base with them and saying hi and all that sort of thing as well. Yeah, and I'll be barreling out a lot, hopefully. Um, what day is today? Yes, yeah, so I definitely have to have one. I'm going to try and do one every, for Fridays, always for a Friday, because I won't be able to do one after your stream. So if I have one and put that out about six or seven or six or seven, whatever, before yours, at least then people will be hanging around live streams and I'll hopefully get some views there. And then um, I've got, oh, I should see the amount of stuff I've gotten. So there's going to be a big haul coming. Um, now, there was supposed to be a haul about a week and a half ago because I said it um, on one of tech streams. Hmm. But I got more stuff, so why not just turn it into a big, huge um, um, haul video? You know, yeah, just call it Mega Haul or something like that. Everyone seems to be. I think um, at the moment, though, I, I mean, uh, people people seem to be putting their prices on how much they're spending, uh, which is which is fine. Uh, but I think Tech is winning that one at the moment because I think he's nearly. He nearly blew five grand, didn't he? On one of his Lego holes. Oh, man. Holy crap. Yeah, yeah. Five grand. Goodbye. 
you could buy a house for that yeah in 1920 <laughs> tech says we love mega halls yes yeah, so i got some cool stuff i got and i'm gonna put everything that i got in the hall in so some funko pops uh, a hoodie it's not a lego hoodie and uh, just you know ah oh, sigh i got another funko pop this week did you what you get i did it was, they were doing it on amazon it was three pounds 99 it's the uh evil ray it's her is the yeah you know in the movie uh which yeah. for, for about 10 seconds she was the sith lord um yeah it's that one it's really good it's very very cool that's pretty cool i got a well i won't say but i'll put it into the into the into the hall but um mark says hall sounds uh amazing side better check the alarms first oh yes you see, I've become immune to the noise of the alarm. But when I was I was in the green room, we were having a chat yeah. after and calling you tonight, and it really irritated me. I want to get it, I want to just get a hammer and smash it, but um yes, yeah, so I have to get batteries for that. So it's in the green room afterwards, folks. We're having a bit of a chat, a little bit of natter, a little catch up on things and stuff that's been going on. And uh and then I could hear this squeak, and I knew straight away, even though Sai didn't have his camera on, I was like, Sai, are you in your kitchen? And he was like, Yeah. I went, yeah, I can tell the alarm. You haven't changed the battery on it yet. I know, and I used to give Bfab so much stick with over his, and I was like, oh, I'm like, oh. well, he did, yeah. He, he always had this alarm thing going off, and then you gave him loads of abuse, and then he started giving it back because because uh, you did the same self thing again. So you kind of brought that on yourself, really. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay so that's pretty cool okay progress this is Pro progress report so progress report. report so that is the front of the ski patrol um building it is one two three four five six studs deep um, and there's a little bed there and a desk and uh, i have to put the computer on that is for some reason that the plaster cast is on a little um, holding thing. There's a syringe there for getting your coronavirus jab. Um, oh, hello. <laughs> coronavirus jab. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. And then uh, the handle on the door, if you look, it is, let's just take Mark off there. Um, so, if you look at the ha door handle, it's a printed um, wooden um, door handle. Which is pretty cool. Looks odd on a glass door, though. But um, it's a nice printed piece. Yeah, it's lovely, mate. <clears throat> Very nice. Very well accomplished. You've done well there, mate. Um, uh, through the bricks, uh, just a tip for you, dude. Sai, on the side, has actually got a Funko Pop channel. So do check that out. Yeah. It's pretty, and it's, it's good. I went over to it today. I was having a look, seeing how you're getting on. Because your channel's doing very well, Sai. Um, I need to start. Uh, the thing is, I always said my, my channel's going to die slow, slow, slightly slowly. Uh, well, because I'm not doing any con that much content for it at the moment. Um, I'm sort of um, uh, plodding on at the moment with it, folks, with uh, doing some live streams and about probably a couple of live streams a week and a video. Uh, that's about it at the moment. But go back a couple of years ago, that was actually deemed as quite a lot of work. True. It is, especially the amount of time. we Back in the day, people would just live stream just for an hour. That would be it. I see. I I couldn't. I your hour goes so quickly, and sometimes mm. if there's sometimes if there's a group of people, sometimes the chat can be a little bit slow, even though there's like four or five people there, and then it takes off and it can fly along, and then mm. you don't want to end it after like it, it becoming like a really good discussion or whatever. Mm. I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be streaming half hour longer than normal on Friday. Sorry, are you okay to hang around as well? I think so. I'll have to find out from Lorraine. And if I can, I can. Good man. Good man. Um, Simon says, is this the most size built in the stream? I think it probably is, isn't it? Yeah, you're doing really well, mate. This is excellent. Oh, thanks. Thanks, guys. <laughs> it's in a top I'm really, job. I'm really thirsty. I dropped that hint earlier on. Oh, my God, I'm so thirsty. Lorraine, can I have some orange juice, please? The one, the new, the new carton. 
Why, why the new one and not the old one, sorry? I don't know how old the old one is. Oh, okay. Do you think it might have turned? Oh, do you know what? I've drank, I've, I've actually had orange juice and I didn't know how old it was before. And I swear it was vomiting all day long. <laughs> so I won't talk about any more of that because people are probably having their lunch, dinner or tea. Okay, sticker time. Sticker time. I'm doing the rocket at the moment. Rocket man. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, film bricks subs. Thanks, man. Yeah, so I'll have to do more. Now you see, the, the, this is uh, when I'm going to be doing more uh, videos on the um, pop channel. I'm going to be taking this uh, box out. I'll be putting, filling this up with Funko Pops, and then that and this area that you can't see here is going to be the, um, that's the backdrop. So I've got all the Funko Pops there, so that's one half the backdrop. I have to take a photograph, actually just remembered to Funko um, do this thing called, um, oh, God, what's it called? Um, Funko Fan of the Month or something. I can't remember the actual wording to it. But anyway, basically, you send in a photograph of you with your Funko Pop collection, and at random, they um, they will pick somebody, and if they pick you, you get a lot of Funko Pops, and it's pretty cool. So uh, I'm going to enter that one. Plus, the good thing is there's a Funko Pop Europe now as well, like, and that's been up and running, and the headquarters are in London. And, yeah, so... Oh, um, that's kind of cool. Yeah. I think, well, I think... Um... I think I've got another Funko Pop coming soon. It's uh, a fairly You might have ordered it already. Um, and I'm not a Funko Pop collector. Believe me, I'm like, if I buy one every couple of months, it's, it's, it's as much as I get. But I do like them. I really do like them. Um, I, I've got the Captain Kirk waiting to come as well. Yeah. I didn't get him yet, no. I forgot about all them. Sorry, if you ever get any, see any good deals on them or anything like that, do give, give me a shout. Well, a good place to look is um, the F Funko Shop Europe. Um, and they have like exclusives there and ones that you can only get from Funko store, which are online. And I mean, like I got, um, I got um, from The Simpsons. Um, why do I um, ever remember? Ralph Wiggum. I got him from there. And like he went from, I think he was 20 quid and now he's worth 60. And, it, you know, that's only in a few weeks. So some of them like that will hold their value. The Simpsons always hold their value. And some of the kind of um, manga and anime ones, they're like worth a fortune. Are they? Yeah, cool, man. Well, I'll tell you what I did see the other day. Someone, on, uh, someone who my wife follows on TikTok, um, I forget her name now. But anyway, she, she's a Devonian woman. Oh, look at that. That's a nice glass. Okay. I know, fancy. Hello, okay. Lorraine. Hi. Lorraine, <laughs> where's where, where's where's my where's my glass? <laughs> Greg wants one. Mmm, pina colada. Oh, I love pina colada. That's not really, but yeah, pina colada would be nice. Oh, pina colada. I want a pina colada. I might get a pina colada tomorrow. If I, if I'm still there and you're live, I'll um. I'll connect in through my mobile phone. I might take my iPad with me tomorrow, just in case, folks, because you never know. Are you sure about that? You have to bring your harness and one of your Sherpas and maybe a donkey. <laughs> Sherpa <laughs> and a donkey, just to carry my iPad around. Love it. Um, what were we talking about there? What did you say? Uh, we, we were talking about your stream tomorrow and the fact uh, we were talking about Funko Pops as well. Oh, and yeah. you was talking about pina coladas. Yes, I was going to say, um, well, could you be drunk tomorrow, maybe, if you link in with us? Hello, yeah. everybody. I don't drink. Well, I did pina coladas. Does that count, folks, as booze? I don't know. Yeah, if it has alcohol, it's alcohol. I'm not a booze. I'm not a drinker either. I used to be, but um, I don't I don't drink. I don't, I'm not into it, but... um. We do have we do indulge in a cocktail now and then, or maybe a little glass of um, mulled wine at Christmas. Oh, I love a bit of mulled wine, especially it's got to be sweet though, folks. I can't I can't stand any of this bitter stuff. Yeah, there's enough bitterness in the world. 
No, I don't like bitter things. I don't like lager or anything like that. Um, yeah. Fulbrick says, I want to see, I want to see Funko and an American Werewolf in London. Don't have mm. a massive collection myself, Greg. Just my favorite movie character, etc. Oh, Michael Jordan too. Yeah, well, so as you probably know, there is Michael Jordan, um, and there was a ten-inch Michael Jordan. There was a patina and a gold Michael Jordan, like really crazy ones. And an American Werewolf from London, there was one as well. I think that might be still available. I love that film. I love yeah. that film to bits. The scenes where he's in the bank station <gasps> oh my god so cool <laughs> i do uh Fulin says he loves a fruity cider on a hot day yeah yeah so do i mate i don't mind it as a fruity cider it's just like apple apple juice isn't it um i don't know over here we call we call cider it would be alcoholic yeah oh yeah he's alcoholic for us as well in america i think when they say cider i think they I don't think there's alcohol in it. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah, really good. Well, there we go. It's like a woodpecker. <laughs> I mean. Peck, 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 peck. Peck, 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 peck. Pecker, pecker, peck, peck, pecker. It's pretty good, isn't it? I like that. Oh, there we go. Fly me to the moon. Choo, choo, choo. Choo, choo, choo. Love it. Yeah, really cool. I'm finished. I've done it. Woo! Good folks. Look, shall I shall I give you a tour? Yes, my go. friend. Well, I've just seen this is the very retro looking uh rocket ship, which I really like. I think it looks good. I like it a lot. Um I might include that in one of the photos at the end. So every day on my vlog, uh, just to sort of bring in pull it in to a little bit of context for Lego, I do a photograph of a minifigure. And uh, what I like about this, I've discovered this. So this is the set here, folks. Does look good, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that is nice. That is nice. Do you like that, folks? What do you reckon? What I really like about it, though, as well, is that you've got the connection points here. I think that looks really cool. And then just like a modular as well, folks, the top section ejects from it so if i show you around the bottom section because while i'm doing this i could be busy building away which is what it's all about <laughs> the lovely side o'connor there we go so there's the in, there's the inside folks it's the toy shop you've got the uh toy airplane there on the right hand side then you've got the lorry then you've got the teal uh, on the cabinet there with the hundred dollar bill there probably just buy buying the latest star wars set or something like that for a hundred dollars if you're lucky uh then you've got yourself a couple of uh well these are actually these parts here are actually prints and those are lego city sets which are pretty cool uh which i think tech said to me last week about that uh and there we go there's the shop front with the uh lamp and the toy soldier and above the door uh you got yourself uh let me bring that around there for you got yourself a train there we go train a steam train going up and down and around the bends and then at the top section you've got the the townhouse and wouldn't it be great to live above a toy shop oh it'd be magical wouldn't it anyway so this is it with its fabulous colors it's kind of a bit friends-esque if you ask me but i like it it's a beautiful color light light blue blue is my favorite color as well by the way folks um there we go. And uh, you've got the flowers there on the windowsill. And uh, I kind of feel like there should be something. I'm going to have to check that out. I feel like there should be something along here. It'd be very strange for Lego to give you those sort of um, plates uh, without putting anything on there. So I might miss something there. So there we go. Got a nice panoramic view there. There. This is nicely constructed. Like in that. Full of integrity, as they say. Structural inter integrity, that is, folks. Then you've got the bedroom in there. Got the cool looking duvet slightly checkered i've uh, got some flowers in there as well um have got the lamp got another flower there in the corner they obviously like their flowers and then around this side got the balcony and how about that for a balcony you like that folks that's good with the flowers uh the lilac flowers or maybe even lavender I'm not really too sure but it looks good anyway it looks very nice and then that just like before actually if i show you like that You'll see the bird's eye view of it all. 
which looks amazing, doesn't it? Looks really good. Uh, and that simply goes on the top there, like so. You line up the edges with it, and then it just, just with a few studs, so it gets a little bit of clutch power, not too much, of course, and then you put it together like so. And that's it, in a nutshell. Looks pretty good. I've got a little bit of adjusting to do down at the bottom section there. But otherwise, I'm very happy with that. Looks pretty good. Thank you, sir. No hope problem. You all, hope you all enjoyed that as well. Hey, delicious food. How's it going? Hey, delicious food. It's good to see you, dude. Brewing, brewing boom here in the state. Ciders and even mead has shelf space in most of us. Mead, I only ever heard of that in Harry Potter. Didn't know it was a real thing. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> There's a huge brewing boom here in the States. Yeah. Do you know what? Yeah, it was a thing here a couple of years ago. People were doing like their own home brews and stuff like that. Yeah, my granddad used to do, make, do a home brew. Um, and sometimes he wouldn't even wait till it was properly finished. He'd be like taste sampling it. <laughs> I like it. You can still buy all the kits and everything like that. It's kind of quite, it's quite a cool thing to do. Yeah, I think I th they can explode, can't they? Like there is oh. a, it's a chemical reaction. So like if it, 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 if it if there's too much of a buildup, it can um, blow up. Yeah. Um, there is a cool printed piece on this. Um, oh, show us it, sorry. It originally, as far as I remember, came in one of the people packs, but it is a cool um, Mount Clutchmore. Uh, oh, what's it say? Mount, Mount Clutchmore. Oh, cool name. Love it, Lego. Lego. Nice one. Yeah. So, like, as in Mount Rushmore. <laughs> right let's have a look at that top part of that house because i'm pretty certain there should be something there yeah same as round before so what you got folks what i'm gonna add what was missing with these little cheese slopes here and what they are is just a little bit of architectural kind of prowess to it and what they do is it's a nice little technique all i'm going to be doing is putting on a couple of studs there and those sections there to make those ridges up. Funny that I look at this and I sort of think of different ideas how I, how I would change that, which is pretty cool. Yeah, and I mean, you probably find it as well. When you walk around London, some of the old parts or whatever, do you ever look at the, the buildings and go, oh my God, that's exactly the type of style that I have on some of the modulars or some of the buildings, Lego buildings and oh, stuff? Yeah, 100%. I tell you who taught me that, who, who, who advised me to try it out, was Jarve Bricks. Um, he said, yeah, he said, go around. If you ever see a bit of architecture you like, he said, you know, do it. Um, like, take a photograph of it and try and build it. And that's what I'm going to try and do. But I think it was, was it last week? Or maybe it was Friday. I can't remember. Or last week, last week's uh, edition of the backlog. I decided that I'd like to build a big shop, like a, a sort of Selfridges style shop for my yeah. city. Um but I'm going to go and I'm going to fancy building something that's, you know, architecturally interesting to look at. So I'm thinking to myself of maybe doing Fulton and Masons. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Have a look at it online, folks. Google it. Tell me what you reckon. Um, and I'll give it a go. But I, I need to learn some of the ropes. I need to build some modulars to start off with. Um, and I will do that once I get... The cabin sort because the cabin's taking up loads of time, folks. I can't, I can't deny that. Uh, and work's super busy as well at the moment. But you know, I love doing this. So that, that that's the nice thing about doing live streams. You just, the, 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 I mean, don't get me wrong, folks. The, the live streams don't just happen. You have to organise stuff and things like that. But on the whole, they're actually a lot quicker to kind of execute than uh, a normal video. Yeah. So at the moment, I'm kind of. I mean, I could just focus on getting the cabin done. <laughs> And then getting back to doing videos again, but I'm kind of, I think people would genuinely. Could you imagine one day I just turn up and say, right, okay, folks, I'm going to be in the cabin now, and that's it. And then people are like, well, but where's all this come from? 
So I know. Can't wait for that. Yeah, and it's going to be cool. I, I mean, I, I'm looking forward to. I tell, I see what I need to do here. I need to do a room tour before I move up. Before I move as well. Yeah. Because I never done that, and I really enjoyed watching your one. Yeah, it was quite fun. I'd, I'd love if we were moving or whatever. It'd be brilliant to to kind of just um, get out and get something bigger and have a, like a proper full room. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, hundred percent, Victoria. I'm going to have brick beehives all over uh, my city. Um, and I need to get a load of those beehive figures actually uh, to do that. Hmm. This is very cool. I like this. Yeah, I like it a lot. Really good set, right? Really enjoyable set. This is. It's. I love it. Like, and I did actually finish off building all of the, the rest of it, and I built my um, rocket guy as well. Ah, really cool. Yeah. A few pieces left over as well, which is kind of cool. Also had this lamp, but I don't know if that's from that build or what the hell that's from. Is that from this one? Yeah, that's that's not from this build. Oh, okay, probably from a previous one. Or it could be from hey, that Victoria. One. Good to see you, Victoria. Victoria going. Victoria oh. Fisher is in the house. She's just arrived, so si. I'm saying hello. Oh, she's doing. Cool. She's busy with exams at the moment. She's a busy bee busy with exams okay i don't know why the hell of so many pieces left over it says okay it says open bag eight now but open bag eight earlier on i know i've got loads of pieces so obviously they are to do with this part what time are we finishing up um it's, it's, it's five ten minutes okay with you yeah i won't open bag eight because that'll just yes, be a disaster oh go on I, I said no, no. I said uh, don't don't open it because it, it won't be worth it. You might as well wind down nice and slow and stuff like that. You know, I we I always like this stream because it's, it's it's a nice two hour, maybe two hours fifteen sometimes. But honestly, folks, um, I know size size got a little bit more flexibility than I have. But if I if I'm ever like if I ever have the weekend off or I have a couple of days off here and there and stuff like that, then um, I stream longer. I really would. Um, but it's only because I've got to be up early tomorrow that one one has to, um, you know, get one's head down and have a snooze. But on top of that as well, uh, I've got to keep the missus happy because uh, she likes to go to bed at a decent hour. <laughs> exactly. So that is what I've built so far. Um, we've got some cool stickers with uh, the temperatures on that side. Um, oh, it looks good, man. Oh, I like it. It's the door, the doorknob. Got a is that a print? It is, yes. Yeah, so it's a printed um, wooden kind of door handle. It's awesome. And then there's the kind of next level, and inside is that. On this side, we have a map, and on this side there is supposed to be the printed tile supposed to be on this side from one side so that is supposed to be with Mount Rushmore showing that it's from Mount Rushmore and on this side we've got some tools we've got a brush a saw we've got a hatchet and a, a wrench or I don't know what we call it over here but yes yeah, so it's pretty fun it's fun like I, I'd be flying along it more if I um, was just concentrating on my own yeah, I'm the same. If I'm sat here on my own or I'm doing a speed build or something like that, fly for it. I haven't done a speed build in ages. I really need to do a speed build. I, I really genuinely enjoy watching speed builds. Uh, I think they're underrated, actually, speed builds. So, uh, and I, I actually quite like doing a speed build when I'm doing a review. Just, to, just that's a very, very quick speed build, that one is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, thanks, Gary. Gary says, um, great live stream as always. Gary, thanks for joining in. You're always here as well. Um, and hello, just build it. I just build it. Uh, tech saying that this, um, they go, they're currently, I, I, I've seen some of the new wave of um, beatboxes coming out. There's a, there's a proper beatbox. I quite like that, in all honesty. I really do. But this video stuff, it all just seems to discount straight away, like super heavily, doesn't it? So. Yeah, I don't know why. 
Oh, I, I don't know why either, actually. I mean, what I will say is the the application is like uh, clunky. It's probably the nicest way I can describe it. But what I will say is, folks, I, I think when it comes to the end of the year and everybody's reflecting on the best minifigure of the year and all that malarkey, I think the video figures are going to be up there, in all honesty. I think they will be in the top 10, that's for sure. Absolutely. Mm. And what's been your favourite minifigure so far of the year, Si? Of the year? <clears throat> Do you know, it gets confusing because I keep buying sets from, like, last year, the year before, and stuff like that. So let me see. What have we had this year? Miles Morales was good. Um, he was a good minifigure. Yep. Yeah, he, he was one of my favourites, like, literally off the bat. He came out literally at the beginning of the year, January the 1st, wasn't it? I think you're right, yeah. Yeah. I, You know what? I, I, and, but I will say this. You and I, and I think tech to a certain degree, we've been advocates of video all the way through it. We've all, yeah. always said we really enjoy it. Um, I enjoy them at the price that we can buy them at, but I'm not sure they've discounted at all in America. Like, I don't think they've done anything in America. I haven't heard anyone say they've discounted in America. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. Um, but yeah, it's it, it's cool. I, I, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to getting the awesome set. I mean, that's going to be one of those sets. So he, here's the thing. I'm sort of uh, walking w walking along London Bridge the other day, and I'm sort of when you do something, I've discovered it's quite interesting just to sort of video yourself and while you're kind of thinking out loud. And what I'm thinking of doing, and it's the it's the Lego video, uh, Lego video, the awesome set. Everyone is awesome set. That's kind of inspired me to decorate the cabin in the way that I think I will decorate it. So here's the idea. Let me tell you the idea side, and you tell me what you think. I'm thinking of doing it quite sparse, quite white, um, not too dissimilar to this, I guess, in some respects, right? But everything will be white. The tables will be white. Um, the drawers will be white. Um, there will be even my table will be mostly white though it will be a slight sort of I have to put a wooden grain into it otherwise the camera has all sorts of issues for auto focusing but the main thing is that what will bring color into the cabin will be the Lego the Lego yeah. that I display and uh, and that's why I'm thinking of doing it that way but you know anyway folks you know if you want to please do check out the video that I popped out today and um, take a look at that. And you'll see, I think it'll probably be something like week three. I kind of start thinking. And I say week three, folks, this is week three that I'm in at the moment in the real time. Um, I'm kind of thinking now, what do I want to do to decorate it? And I might just go to Ikea over the weekend and um, I could do a vlog on that because Monday, which will be day 16, was well, a bank holiday here in, in, uh, in the UK. And uh, with that in mind, uh, it's a good day to do it. day 16, you know, go shopping and you know, maybe pick up a few bits. But what I won't do is uh, that you, you go home and then you order it. I think I think it's £40 to get the stuff delivered. But you could like you could have one item delivered. It's going to cost you 40 quid. You could have a thousand items delivered. It's going to cost you 40 quid. So that's kind of where I'm at with thinking about how I'm going to do the decorating and stuff like that. I like that. Yeah, I, if I would go all white as well. Tech says get the light grey ones that like coconut just got. The light grey ones that coconut just got. The light grey is that light grey? What tech? Uh, what what exactly is light grey? Is he gone for the the drawers? Because I like these Alex drawers. I think they look quite good. I'm gonna yeah, because um, coconut's got a new. He's got a new Lego room. He's just moved, hasn't he? Yeah. Ah, oh, cool. Hey, um, Victoria says, is it really? She goes, uh, I didn't even realise it was a bank holiday coming up. God, blimey, I tell you what, Victoria, I'm a bloody, I don't know about you lot, honestly, though, I do live for the weekends these days. It's it's super busy. Uh, but I tell you what, sorry, one thing I have noticed is even YouTubers, other YouTubers other than us, and we knew this was going to happen, other YouTubers I've noticed are saying, well, COVID is kind of being lifted now. And they want to see their family. So like Robin Robin Hood Bricks, he said, I'm taking a week off. I'm catching up with things and catching up with people and stuff like that. Yeah. And we always said that was that was going to be a thing, didn't we? Yeah. 
Yeah, so I mean, yeah. even Greg from Brickitex, he one of his um, newer videos, he said that he's I don't know if he's going to stick with it, but he said he's going to do less videos, do more live streams, and even um, try to not do videos, just do live streams. Oh, really? Oh, I quite I like live, I, I like videos though, because I, I think yeah. it kind of gives you a bit of a repertoire. I'm not, I, I mean, it depends where you are and you like what you're doing and all this sort of stuff. Like for him, I know he's got a young kid, Clarkman, and you know, maybe it just works out that way, is flexibility wise and stuff like that. So yeah. he's also good. He, he reckons he might ditch Patreon and just literally just stick with them with memberships for the uh, for the channel, which brings me onto a topic that I wanted to get onto. We'll talk about it as well tomorrow. But while we're here, um, I'm thinking of starting memberships. Now, I, I don't know if people would want it. We always have like our, our hardcore, uh, the backlog people here mm -hmm. on Wednesday on my channel and on yours. So I mean, you guys, would you be interested in memberships with, with myself and Greg? If so, what would you like? We, we, we think we might put a poll out at some stage just for feedback. Um, you know, um, because with, with for me with Patreon, it's 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 I think would be a lot of work. I think it'd be might be hard for people to go from one platform to another. Um, when I look at Jang and people like that, it, it looks like he does so much work. It's a lot of work. So I was just wondering. I was just thinking if you guys would like us to, well, me anyway, um, to offer memberships for the channel. I don't want to speak for Greg because I don't know what he thinks. But um, I, I, I want to do memberships one day. I mean, you, I, I think it's a per channel thing. You have to do it. Or, I'm not really too sure. But um, the, the, the thing is, if, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, you just got to be careful we don't run into that poll, though, Tech. You know what you're like. Um, <laughs> don't lag. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> I want to do the thing is I know people that do memberships, but then you again you are providing a service, so you got to do something for that. There is there, there is that. So for, you have to do something for it. Otherwise, you know, it, it could be say for example, you bring a video out on a Thursday, you could give them people early access to it, so they see it on a Tuesday, sort of thing, and all that sort of thing. So th th that's the thing. I, I've had conversations. I've literally been walking over London Bridge in the morning talking to tech, saying, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of doing it. I don't know what I want to do, sort of, sort of thing. But at the moment, as far as I'm concerned, it is on my radar. I do fancy doing it. I can't be bothered doing um, a server, you know, like, um, what do they call it? With Discord, Discord. no. I wouldn't yeah. be doing that. Either. I can't be doing it. I, I see too many YouTubers on Discord for too much time, and I don't have... I don't, I literally, folks, I can tell you every half hour when I've got breaks and stuff like that coming up, my time is very scheduled. Um, and I wish it wasn't, but it's just the way it is. Um, but what I will say is, is think about what you want to provide or do. And yeah, and if you do do it with someone else or something like that, then you just split whatever it is you might make or something like that. You know, it's just the way it goes. But it's, um, yeah, it, it, for me personally, if I do it, then I would do a, a like a live stream with them or something like that. That, that. That's the thing that's always been on my. I like doing live streams, so I would have the people that are members of my channel doing. Uh, I do a personal live stream with them, or just have them all zoom in, and we can all just have a chit chat and stuff like that. What, what yeah, that would be pretty good because then you get to meet people from you know other channels who are in your chat and stuff and you know that you, you get to talk to people one-on-one -on -one. Mm. yeah and that's what I'd, I'd like to do that would be my thing but um that i'll probably have if i do that i'll probably have it nailed down that maybe around august september time yeah. uh, at the moment my focus is on the cabin and i don't want to be distracted from that and uh getting the cabin done and basically, just realigning everything. I mean, bloody, I, I started Legonda, and I was loving that. And then, basically, the cabin came out of nowhere. Because I genuinely thought that the builders told me that they were actually running behind schedule on their other jobs. So I thought, oh, typical builders. But anyway, they're cool. I, I, I love – actually, I'm good friends with the builders that I use. Um, yeah. And so I thought I, – I didn't think it would be even started by now. So I'm actually ahead of where I want to be. So that's good in one respect, so I can get settled down there. But um, yeah, I'd want to provide something, but I don't want it to be a thing that I provide that then becomes a burden. Um, 
and then that's the thing. So that's, that's that's the only thing I would say say think about. But for me personally, a live stream, a personal live stream with the members, a uh, time that works for everyone, is when I is what I would probably do. Yeah. If someone says you're providing a service or the su subscriber supporting the channel, I think it's I think it's both. If if the if the if you've got members, um, it's nice to give them something yeah, to be a member yeah. of the channel. Yeah, yeah, because you know when people super chat, and I love people super chatting, and that's kind of cool, um, and that's nice because that is people supporting the channel. So that is great. And members, obviously, membership is a way of supporting the channel, but it's it's also paying for something from the channel. You know, a little exclusive. Like, like I said, it could be a video going out early. Uh, it could be, you know, it, it, it could be it could be a live stream with them or something like that. Or, you know, or you could start a live stream. You could be with your members for the first hour and then you go and then you open it out to everybody else and stuff like that. So there's also there's still different sort of things you could do. Um, you know, so it's 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 a very personal way. Like Q and A. I'd like to do Q and A's as well. Um, yeah. people ask me questions and I sort of think, well, I'm quite a candid person, uh, in all honesty. So if anyone wants to ask me anything, ask me it as a member or something like that on, on a one to one with a few people yeah yeah it's a bit like it's a bit like some of the biggest concerts i've ever gone to are amazing right but some of the best concerts i've gone to as well are being very small venues where it's been very up close and personal with the with the person singing you know and they've been sometimes some of my favorite ones and that's kind of how i see a uh a, a, a i mean we've got we you and i when we stream we have anywhere between i don't know 20 to 80 people watching us and if i've got members to so say i've got 10 members or something like that i've got 10 people that i can purely focus on and talk with them and if they wanted to do zoom in as well i could do a zoom in com chats and conversations with them and stuff like that yeah so it'd be, it'd be quite cool, cool. Yeah, be good. Um, victoria said she support the channel if you guys have membership and so did Kaju, Kaju. I'm gonna to have to just ask, find out. It's Kaju, isn't it? Or Kaju? Yeah, that Kaju. 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 Bless you. Or KR. We call him KR. But um, yeah, no. So yeah, I mean, look, I, I think, I think it's, I think we're, it's gonna be something that we're both gonna do anyway. No, definitely. Yeah, uh, it's on my radar. It's just on my to-do list. In all honesty, but um, but yeah, it's on my to-do list thing i just i just got to think i've been thinking about it and talking to various different people because people get older me and they say when are you going to start doing this so i can support your channel yeah um, well, that's why know. i was asking because i have had people on instagram ask me um mm. and you know sometimes some of the people that um watch the thursday one as well have been quite interested in it as well so that's why i was throwing it out there because mm. i hadn't i hadn't like you I hadn't planned on doing it so soon but um, the interest seems to be growing, and um, so why not? I suppose I do. I would like to get some. Once I hit ten thousand, it would be cool to get some sort of merch done as well. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, because I would. I do like the idea of minifigures, like a, a Sio Connor minifigure. But I don't know how in, inexpensive they would be, or expensive they'd be. But I think that'd be kind of a kind of a cool reward after like six months or something. Um, yeah. Yeah, because you want to keep people on um, and keep them interested. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's no, good, man. It's good. It's a good idea. Um, but I need to once I get the cabin out of the way, I can refocus on that and some of the other things. And the next thing we know, folks, it will be the autumn time, and uh, I'll be going up a few more gears. Then I can start throwing more time and effort into into the whole thing. Start making more videos. That's why I'm kind of keeping it quite cool at the moment. And then I've got my ideas of how I want to push beyond ten thousand and take it from there but it's time that's what it is folks it's just time at the moment Do you know what would be fun now it probably wouldn't work but if you had like a um a live stream party but we like myself and tech or somebody like we're in the cabin with you like oh, yeah, no, i i i want to be doing streams like me and tech and you when we meet up and stuff like that we're gonna do it we we, we, we can 
you, if you come to London, then boom, we're going to be down the cabin. We're going to be streaming. Tech can come round to stream. I can go round to his place and stream uh, as long as he's made his bed, of course. Not that I want to lay in it, but you know, it's got to be nice. Uh, tech, you know, do the vacuuming and all that before I go round. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get the, get the cleaners round tech uh, I, I can give you some good contacts for them uh so you know it's, it's you know i mean i'm joking but you know it's, in all seriousness yeah we, that's the thing we can all meet up now we, we all right london calling i could do a london calling from tex tex bedroom or something like that imagine that <laughs> that's what the neighbors are saying <laughs> that'd be funny this guy's going to come out. We move the Lego town. Yeah, basically, Tech. I'll take one modular. You take the other one. Jobs are good and sorted. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, mate, he says he, he's, his room is pristine. Thanks. <laughs> good stuff. Uh, yeah, says, really, oh, do you know what? I'm actually going to go to New Zealand uh, in the next couple of years or so. I will be there. I will be there. My ex-wife lives in Australia, folks, so uh, I might as well go over Australia and pop down to New Zealand instead. Um, but anyway, on that note, Sai, we've been going for two hours, 20 minutes, and 33 seconds. Hasn't it gone quick? It has gone quick, quicker than usual, quicker than usual. So I think what we'll do is we'll wind it down and say goodbye to everybody. So say goodbye to everyone first, and then Greg will um, – do you want to do it that way, yeah? Um, Sounds good to me, mate. Perfect. So I'll just whiz through people. And um, there's a lot of chat going on, so I won't be able to go all the way back up to the top. And if I miss your name, just give me a shout, and I will um, say say goodbye to you. So I uh, just want to say goodbye to Tech uh, Tech Productions, uh, who will be on the stream with me tomorrow. Uh, Hadrian's Wall, Mister Blue, Lester, and um, we had Simon. Lorraine Fox Connor, that's the wife. Fool with Bricks, Mark, and thank you for the donation, Mark. Uh, Fool with Bricks, and uh, you. Brick scene was here. We had Brick Slot. We've had. Uh, what's Greg doing? Oh my God. <laughs> uh, we've had El Brico, Mike from the Cool Factor. We've got. It might be quicker just to use the, the touch screen of this, actually, rather than going up and down using our slippery bricks. Um, <laughs> There's nothing worse than someone saying, I need to touch something, and the next word that comes out of their mouth is slippery. I mean, if that doesn't sound dodge, I don't know what that is. Exactly. Um, we've had Victoria Fisher. We've had delicious foods. We have had... Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. yum, yum. yum, yum. I had a pizza, as usual. We had just Ooh. built it. Gary uh, Mullane. Um, uh, K.R. Kaji Robot. We've had Destro. We've had Victoria Fisher, if I haven't said that already. We have had Hadrian's Wall, if I haven't said that already. We've got Duke Duke Do. I think that might be it. I, oh, Jonah. Hey, how's it going? Jonah's dropped in. And we had Nullig in earlier on. And who else? I can't think of anyone else from earlier on. So I do apologize. Uh, don't forget, you can watch the stream back if you are just dropping in now. And there is a link in the description to last week's, which was on Greg's channel. And speaking of Greg's channel, Greg, do you want to tell everybody what's coming up on your channel for the week? Well, on my channel side, I've just dropped a video, actually. Uh, my latest vlog on constructing my cabin and it's week one uh, that i've done and um otherwise really between you and me anyway so si, uh, i'm going to be coming out with maybe a short video over the weekend basically it's good at the end of each day i do a speed i keep calling it a speed build it's not it's a time lapse folks it's a time lapse so i might just put them all together and put them into a like, squeeze like 58 seconds worth of it and just kind of chuck it out there um Otherwise, it's, I'm it's, it's a what? Sorry, it's a what? Sorry. You're saying, Hi, Sir Bricks. Hi, Sir Bricks. Hi, Sir Bricks. Good to see you. And Lester. Hey, Lester. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm. And then so that's what I'm thinking of doing. Um, I've got a. I've got an idea for a short that I do need to do this weekend. Otherwise, it's going to expire. So I do need to do that this weekend. Um, and of course, Friday, seven thirty, my channel, London calling. Number 70. My God, that's the big one. None of that 69 malarkey anymore, tech. Um, so, yeah, tech's working on a thumbnail to, to sort me out for two, for Friday. Uh, looking forward to seeing, how can I put it, what he comes up with. 
let's put it that way. And uh, yeah, and then basically uh, next week, the backlog is going to be on my channel and I'm going to get on June the 1st, everybody is awesome. And that's what we're going to be building next week, folks. At least I will. Sai will be doing his um, oh so slightly little ski number. I think I'll be finished up by then. Oh, okay. Well, well, let me know what you fancy building, mate. And uh, I, I hate seeing half-built things around the place. Well, I know that's really ironic. After it was a Death Star hanging around for six months, but like, yeah, <laughs> that is a I think I'll buy something new um, on the first and build that ironically as the backlog on Wednesday. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing is, the Wednesday is only the second, isn't it? So that's kind of cool um yeah all right we'll just let, let me know what you fancy getting because there's some great little sets coming out mm. i do think my favorite wave i do think is going to be the marvel stuff i think they're looking pretty good yeah absolutely yeah, i am liking that um but yeah anyway um on that note thanks very much everybody i love you all thank you for watching as well it does mean a lot to us folks you guys out there watching us on the backlog as well we really enjoy it and i just want to say special thanks to tech the two things one, thanks for all the abuse. I do enjoy it. I really do. Um, and, and secondly, um, where's your content? And where's the where's the London tech? Where's the next one, tech? Where's that Where's that coming out? Is, it, is that going to be coming out anytime soon? Anyway, tech also as well. Number three for tech, Sai. Thanks for watching my video earlier on tech. Do appreciate that, mate. He was there for the whole duration. And so was you, actually, So You was there for most of it as well. He's yeah, cool. I was up here, and I made a point that I wouldn't miss it. And I put, I watched it on the laptop, and I put it onto full screen. I didn't look at the chat after a while, and I just wanted to see everything that was going on. I kept popping in and out of the chat just to say hi. And, oh. you know, once you were talking about the Flintstones, I was like, hey, Flintstones, that's so funny. Yeah, no, I, uh, mm -hmm. I know that. Was, I call it Fred. They're massive. It's like a loaf of bread. It's like literally a loaf of bread. Um, but anyway, uh, I just wanted to say thanks to him as well for being there and, and watching this stream as well. He's been there since the beginning of this one, so I really appreciate that. Cheers, we do. Ben. We appreciate everybody watching. And, um, yeah, it's good because we watch you guys and you watch us, and it's good to hang out. And, you know, I feel we've gotten to meet so many more new friends over the past, like, year and, for me, year and a half. Year and a half is a year. So April, May, June, July. Yeah, so about a year and a quarter, anyway. But um, on that note, I will just let you guys know that tomorrow, um, half past eight here on my channel, and um, we are on my channel, aren't we? Yes, we are. And um, on my channel, I get confused so many times, and um, we will have our usual panel, which will be myself, Greg, Brick in it, Solo Brick Builder, and um, possibly Sarah Starbricks. And um, we will have Jang Bricks, who's popping in, and um, possibly one or two other people. And um, that is half past eight, if I didn't say it already. So. You better come um, or you'll miss out and then you'll be crying and there'll be no one to hug you and say sorry about that. So, yeah, so that's us for this week. Uh, we appreciate <laughs> it. And um, he's laughing either at me or someone in the chat. And <laughs> I'm just laughing at something Tech said to me earlier on. Oh, Tech called us legends. Um, okay, that is it. Thanks, everybody. And um, we'll see you tomorrow. And then... Yeah, so that's it. No point of waffling. Cool. Don't forget, folks, tomorrow, 8.30, Fry O'Connor, my channel, Friday, 7.30. Lego is a wonderful thing, and so is Cy O'Connor. Oh, so are you, Greg. Greg rocks the world. <laughs>